Hello, everybody. Chris Lee of Southeastern 14, joined by Max Barr and Blake Lovell, who have been in attendance for Auburn's SEC Championship. I've been sitting at home watching bubble games, doing bracketology stuff, even watching a lot of SEC baseball. We are going to get you ready for Selection Sunday. CBS is going to go live here in about 15 minutes. The last game is now over. Illinois is officially your Big Ten champion after beating Wisconsin. I've got a whole S-curve in front of me. Uh, we'll <laughs> reveal here in just a minute. I've been doing my homework, checking it twice. Well, not checking it twice, but doing it at least and putting a lot of time. We're going to get into that, give you predictions of where SEC teams slot and everybody slots. Gentlemen, got a lot to talk Chris, about. Before we do that, um, let's give a word to our friends. At a certain place. Oh, the uh, the old standby. Uh, presenting sponsor, you mean? That is correct, Chris. Okay, well, we are brought to you by Bet Online because you can never be sure about things. But if you are, go to Bet Online, which continues to be your number one source for all your basketball wagering needs, including pro and college hoops throughout the year. With up to the minute odds, stats, and trends, you can follow your favorite team's path to the playoffs with live in-game betting contests and all the best player props. Experience the world's best wagering platform anytime from your desktop or your mobile devices. Head to BetOnline today. Become part of the team. Remember to use promo code BELIEVE. That's B-L-E-A-V for your welcome bonus on your first deposit. BetOnline. The game starts here. Blake Lovell. Selection Sunday is here. The bracket is minutes away. You just saw Auburn with another dominating performance to win an SEC title after a great week of basketball. Um, I'll let you start with your thoughts wherever you like, sir. Well, I've got the bracket in front of me. I actually have a little little inside information here. And Logan's right. I've got the Missouri Tigers, the number one overall seed in the NCAA tournament 2024. Uh, but no, let's let's talk about the Tigers for a minute. The other Tigers, the champion Tigers. The Auburn Tigers, before we get into a quick bracketology, and then it'll be selection time. Max, Auburn, just the chaos bracket won out. The The chaos bracket winner was the Auburn Tigers, um, and Chris is pulling up all kinds of stuff. on. If you want to see the madness behind the madness, we, you're we can it on take the that down right now, now if you like. With um, whatever Chris is doing on the screen, we have no idea. We did not approve of this. Um, okay. We're trying to talk about Auburn's championship here, but once again, Janai Broom, too much for oh. anybody. And uh, the all-tournament MVP, Janai Brew, Max and I voted him MVP, by the way. We did get a vote in the all-tournament team. We uh, did put uh, him on there. Chad baker Mazar also made the all-tournament team. Um, and, yeah, um, I mean, look, this team's come a long way from the dump at the hump, right, Donovan? Uh, this team gets their revenge and then gets their revenge like that. That's just what Mississippi State, or Mississippi State and, and Florida had to deal with was a team that was very, you know, kind of revenge minded. And we said the depth of Auburn, I think that played out. I mean, you and I, Max, to start the game, we're like, oh, Trey Donaldson off to a rough start. But then our guy yesterday, we dubbed it the Trey Donaldson game. He stepped up, played big again down the stretch. Dylan Cardwell uh, gave him some big. <laughs> Max and I have more enjoyment watching Dylan Cardwell <laughs> celebrate anything if you guys follow me on Twitter, we're putting up the Hulk Hogan gifts and everything. He's just doing the, what you going to do, brother? Like Dylan Carwell's hulking up. Like he, he's just, he's having fun out there. And you know what, Max? It's something you said after after the game. We talked about it while we were eating our yep. salad, our pork, our chicken. You talked about it. This team just has fun. They go out. They have fun. Bruce Pearl said it on the podium after the game. He's never coached a team that has gotten along better than this one right here. And you can see it. Like, this team just has the chemistry. They gel. They're gelling at the right time. Six straight wins entering the NCAA tournament. Last time Auburn won six or more in a row to enter the tournament? 2019. Oh, yeah. Four. Don't want to say anything. 2019. Mm. Like, I'm just thinking of that that one. Dylan Cardwell's driving down the middle of the lane. Looks like he might go for a dunk, but it kind of contested, and he, he he ends up just laying it up. This man went like this for the next 15 seconds. <laughs> all the way the down layup. the floor. He's like, he's doing like a pirouette all the way down the floor. Like he's just spinning and his arms just up and, and, man, and he's loving it. And the crowd loved it. That place was deafening. Oh my gosh, it was deafening. I, Auburn, 
I did not. I knew that we were going to get a better crowd than we did yesterday, but that place was packed. That place was packed. Anytime Dylan Cardwell, Chad Baker-Mazar, any of those guys that get the crowd going, they made a play. Oh, my gosh. Did that place erupt. Um, and, yeah, Blake, you said it. It was the depth that came through. It was the depth. Florida storms back. First off, just brutal, 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 brutal mm. way to yeah. start um, losing oh. Micah. Thinking about him, he, he he tweeted out, Micah said that all the – all the thoughts and prayers are helping him out right now. Um, and then Florida responded. They really did. Punched back. Um, but then it was the depth of Auburn. Um, Tyree Samuel get, picks up that fourth foul. And Broom was just taking it to Condon down low, just taking it to Condon. Um, so, yeah, I think, Blake, I think it was you that said it. It was either in the preview or yesterday. You were like, Auburn is a machine. That, that just days. came through today. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they, they look like a machine. And, you know, something else, I think someone brought up a second ago. I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, let me find it. Uh, okay, so, yeah, I mean, Bruce, crying before the game, and that he said after the game, he said specifically, I don't know if they showed this on TV or not, but uh, I did put the quote on Twitter. He was yeah. talking about why he got emotional. And uh, the quote right here is word for word. He said, my dad died in August, and he was my biggest fan. I love him. I miss him. And I know he was with me. And then he went on, you know, he was still pretty emotional talking about it. again, the the strength of this team and just how, how much this team just got along. That's what he said. And he said, putting up with the coaches and all this, he said, this team just continued to deliver and deliver. Um, and yeah, like it was just, I, I think that's it. And, you know, we were also talking Max to Ken, we were back there eating and he said yeah. something too. It's like Bruce Pearl just lets these guys be themselves. Like yeah. he just lets these guys, their personalities, just lets them go do what what they do well, and I think that also kind of speaks volumes about this particular team. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think that's it, it's huge. I mean, and I think again, you talk about a team that's going into the postseason as hot as it's been. They're playing some great basketball right now, six game winning streak, um, and yeah, I mean, I I think this is something where we're gonna look at it, and if they get a good draw, you pointed out, Max, how many times. They have they meet all the criteria of a yep. team that can win a national championship, whether people want to believe it or not. If you just look at the past data, all the numbers, which you guys know I love, um, it, it still applies. Like Auburn is the only team it applies to right now in the SEC. So there you go. Um, so that's where things stand. And anyways, all right. Well, I know I'm sure we'll talk more about Auburn. Um, we got six moving minutes forward as we get their get their brackets. Uh, shout out to Tiffany, by the way. Just found our channel during the SEC tournament. Appreciates our content. We appreciate you, awesome. Tiffany. Um, and all right. So, Chris, we're not going to go through all 68 of your seeds, but let's talk about no, the SEC teams quickly. No, but we will go through quickly. the SEC. Right. Uh, let's take a run through. You ready? Do, 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 do. Oh, okay. Well, you took it down, so now I've got to pick it up. What are we doing? This is what we call a stall here. Hold on. Well, you've got it. There, there we, we go. go. Thank you. There we go. All right. I have put together my S curve of how I oh, would rank the teams. Gosh. You can see the number one seeds. <laughs> what? <laughs> you are just UConn, just Houston, mad Purdue. Man. I had North Carolina edging out Tennessee for the last – one based on this and also the fact they won head to head. That's a lot of quad what, one and two wins. Yeah, say what Although this I is, think, Chris, because not everybody's going to be able to see this on a small phone. Okay. So this is my list of one to sixty eight. How I rank them. Uh there's quad records. I got the big wins over here. We can do it however you want. But this is how I rank the team. So I've got Tennessee as the top two seed going down the SEC teams. I've got Auburn as a three I don't think that the win over Florida, the, the committee doesn't usually put much stock into the weekend, uh, but the metrics, the computer metrics, the metrics have got Auburn, you know, probably close to a two, but that's your problem if you're Auburn. Um, I've got Alabama as a four seed, 14 overall. Kentucky's a four seed. South Carolina, a five. Uh, what else have we got? Mississippi State, I've got as a nine. I've got A&M as a 10. All right. All right. Do you think that A and M will be that will be that ten as a play in or a lock in? Locked in. 
Um, I've got them as one of the last. I've got them as one of the last four. The first of the last four. So if the committee likes them a little bit more than no, but that's where I have it. I have Mississippi State in in, not in Dayton. Blake, thoughts? Everybody picking on Chris's spreadsheet. Yeah, I know. He's a madman. What can we say? We, we've tried to tell you guys before. He's a madman. Um, I've got Indiana State as the last team in the tournament, by the way, too. I'm, I'm probably going to be wrong on that, but they won 15 games away from home. EJ Chris, where would you have you, Florida? Yeah, you didn't speak. You didn't say anything about Florida. Oh, sorry. I had Florida at where? Right I had there. Florida right six. Where in the sixes? 21 overall. All so right. that's almost a five. What channel is the show on? It's on CBS. I asked that same question about about five minutes ago. So there you go. We're All right, we're gonna we're gonna pull this away. off the screen for now, just to pull up some super chats real quick and everything, because we're a couple minutes away from the start. Um, Chris, we're gonna let you be the guy who does not have it muted. Max and I are both gonna mute the show. If you can at least hear it a little bit, I don't know if it'll blend into your microphone or not, but if not. Let the sound play a little bit once they start. Um, all right, Donovan, quickly, $1.99, $1.99 super chat. Feel bad or whoever's matching Mississippi State. Don't tell that to Max Barr. He's already got him in the Final Four. Stop blowing my picks, Blake. <laughs> Max Dude. got every SEC team in the Final Four. I don't know how it's you know technically possible, but I, I know he's got everybody advancing. From we'll, what find we'll find a so, way. We'll find a way. Yeah, so... Well, <laughs> Cody, late to the stream, but you have one question for me. Can, can you get a war damn eagle? Um, I, I can't do it, Cody. You know, we try to be neutral here at Southeastern 14. We don't play favorites at all, you know, with anybody. Not when it comes to our predictions or anything. We would never do such a thing. But let me tell you, in the NCAA tournament, we do play favorites here at Southeastern 14. We're all in on the SEC teams in the NCAA tournament. So, there you go. But, um, yeah. By the way, Matt pointed out, Max, that he did see that little screen time here at Southeastern 14 on ESPN this week. Yeah, so the uh, the ESPN guys, first day, now first day when they did that interview, they had the camera facing straight. Then Blake and I get – Blake and I – our assigned seats get moved, and all of a sudden now the camera mm-hmm. angle is, is on the side. We think they rang up and we're like, hey, guys – we we need we know that you guys are stars, hmm. but you got some you have some celebrities sitting behind you. We need them in the shop. <laughs> um, so you know we allowed it. We allowed it. We allowed it. Um, we did. But no, it was we we met a lot of a lot of fans from different. It was teams. awesome. Yes, yeah, it was great. So we appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, it was pretty great. So, um, anyways, all right. Well. We're about ready. Again, if you guys are we're waiting for the start of the show here, as always, be sure to check out all of our stuff. We're, we're all over the place now. I'm going to put a link to our Instagram. If you're on Instagram, follow us there. Max and I put up some stuff this week from the SEC tournament there. Um, yep. You can also check out our Substack. We'll put the link that up to that here in just a little bit. If you guys think we do a lot right now, you have no idea have what's that. about to hit you this week with all the stuff that we're about to do. So... Just, just keep that in mind. Um, I know some of you are not gonna, you're gonna miss the 8 a.m. live streams, but we, we might, we're gonna throw some live streams in this week. Don't worry, we'll still do some live streams. So, um, <laughs> I looked unimpressed with the seating. Yeah, that's right. And then finally, you know, that's okay. Blake looks unimpressed with everything. That's just Blake. Yeah. If you want to get a smile out of me, you gotta impress me. You gotta really put the the work in. So. All right, it is six, and the channel is on a commercial. You remember now, you go through how you wanted me to spoiled. do this again with the volume, Blake. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't catch that. Well, I'm just saying, if, if there's a way you can listen without oh. it coming through your mic, Max oh, okay. and I are not are both going to be muted, but we don't yeah, want to come over your okay. mic either because we don't want to get. Well, I was just going to be watching the screen. A... Okay, that's fine. No, we don't have to have the sound on. Like, it's just no. somebody wants to, we can. But as always, yeah, Tennessee fans are scared to death. Yes, they are. Of the idea of getting St. Peter's. Ten- okay, the 
Kentucky fans in here are just like. And then Yale that. also. They don't. The do uh, the sixteens <laughs> probably Wagner, Howard, Montana State, Grambling State, Saint <laughs> Saint Peter's or Stetson. Oh God. Mm. Listen, if you're a four seed or five seed in the SEC, which there's going to be several, we said it earlier, Max, on the eight a.m. live stream. I mean, my goodness, look out, just look out, because yeah. it, I I hate this field. I hate it for the for the fours well, and fives. Saint Saint Lakers Peter's J. is zero and one in quad one, zero and two in quad two, <laughs> three and six in quad three. So I I think you can probably. You let me tell you something, Lakers Jay. That's the second time I've heard that in a week. Like, so listen, <laughs> my net worth here at Southeast of 14, I would happily trade it. I love SEC basketball, but I would lose myself to the music to get the Eminem net worth there. You would lose yourself. Here we go. All right. I don't know if I'm behind or not. I must be. All right. They're putting the teams up this already. It's very unusual. UConn, number one seed. Oh, who knew? Shocker. They're in the East region. They're going to play in Brooklyn. And I'm not looking at the chat right now, so you guys are going to leave your – we're all going to be at different t- intervals, so I'm just going to say this as it's coming up for you guys, if that works for you. I have gotten um, 15 seconds behind. This is unbelievable. You may be, unless I'm watching a replay from last year. So, um, yeah. UConn Lakers just Jay, showed up okay. for me. I appreciate you. Um. All right, we're going to the eight nine. Brooklyn, UConn is the number one seed. Wagner, Stetson. Oh no! Oh no! FAU is the number eight. Ooh. Oh, that's a brutal draw for. I know, but it's a brutal spot, I think, for FAU. How about that matching up FAU and UConn? FAU versus Northwestern, the eight nine game in the East Region. Oof! Wow, FAU eight. What does that tell us, Chris? Where'd you have them? Yeah, uh, I had them as as an eight. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe Chris is doing the bracket here. All right, the five twelve. These games are gonna be played in Spokane, Washington. Oh boy. Number five, San Diego State. Look at this. This is the this is the twenty twenty three Final Four Invitational. We got UConn, what, uh... FAU, Sandy. Oh, San Diego State, UAB. How about that? Mm-hmm. Huh? Kennedy. Five twelve. Andy Kennedy got them rolling. Andy Kennedy. By the way, I had no, I had hold on, no, hold on, Chris. No, hold on, Chris. Sorry. Number four Auburn. We're not gonna interrupt the Auburn Tigers. Oh, oh really? There we oh, are. Four? There Auburn we are. Spokane against Yale. Auburn and Yale. Auburn fans. Your thoughts. Auburn uh, against Yale. Auburn and Low. Yale. The four thirteen. Wow. How about an Auburn? Yeah, Auburn got screwed there, I thought. I thought it should have been a three. Okay, um, let me let me tell you what I think that means so far for the SEC. I had Northwestern getting a 10 instead of a 9. That could bump Mississippi State down to a 10. And Auburn getting a 3 instead of a 4 tells me there might have been an emphasis on, on quad one wins where Auburn was re- really – that was the thing that it lacked the most. Okay. Six, I do 11, like Auburn way. against San Diego State, though. I like that matchup. BYU, that's a tough six in that region. Six elevens, BYU, Duquesne, Illinois is going to be the three. So, yeah, Auburn getting stuck with UConn. Man. Oh, man. Man, that's brutal. That's a terrible draw. That is brutal. Really? Illinois is a three. Il- okay. Morehead State. How did Morehead State get a 14? They'd been lower than that. Maybe not. Just me. I got nothing against them. I just didn't think that conference had enough strength to get a 14. thought maybe it would be no. a 15. All right, 7-10 in Omaha here, up next. We'll get to your comments in a few minutes, guys. We're just going to yeah, run more, through each. 14 bracket. seems a little high for Moorhead, but. Yeah. Man. Well, no, actually, that's like what I had. Potentially. Mm. That game might be 100 to 100. All right, Washington State's going to be the 7. They're going to play Drake. In... Wow. Ooh. Washington State and Drake in Omaha. Well, that's something. All right. Man. Who's the two? Yeah, this is important. Tennessee. Tennessee and Omaha? No, Iowa State. That makes sense. Iowa State. So it goes UConn, Iowa State, Illinois, Auburn, San Diego State, Dang, BYU. 
in that region. Can I, can I also say this? Clearly, the SEC championship did not matter. How many times have we said that? Yeah, didn't the last year. Started? Didn't matter. That matters in years. It, do, it so doesn't matter past play. Friday, I don't think. I really don't. That's so stupid. Matt, by the way, I don't have anything against Moorhead State. I just didn't think the league was strong enough to support a 14 seed. So I have nothing against them. I just sometimes they put the OVC like in 15 or 16 range. But all right, well there you go, boy, man, mm. man, mm -mm. Auburn, man, stuck with. I mean, they got Yale, U San Diego State, UAB, UConn is up there, Florida Atlantic up there. <laughs> Good grief, man. That's not <laughs> big baller. Brett just came the biggest Yale fan in the chat. Of course he did. Well, um, wow. I, look, it. Listen, this just Chris talked about it. It's either the quad one thing or it is the fact that you just you don't get anything for winning the SEC. I mean, you get something, but like you don't from the they, NCAA they, tournament. They, that's three years in a row where it's meant nothing. Yeah, it just it doesn't mean anything. So, you know, everyone and I know the Auburn fans are gonna say. They got screwed and everything, but man, how nice would it be to knock off the reigning champs? Mm, that would be sweet. That would be sweet. Yeah. I you mean, know, listen, that Auburn, makes me come... wonder if Alabama is going to get a five now instead of a four. Oh, yeah. I worry about Alabama. Um, I mean, listen, we said Auburn's a complete team. We just talked about it. Yeah. The depth, all this other stuff. I mean, here, here's a question for you. Let, let's ask this. If there's an SEC team that matches up the best with UConn, who would your pick be? Well, who's going to guard Klingon the best? It's probably Auburn, right? I mean, I I'm think any other I SEC. That, I, I don't mind this matchup at all. San Diego State does not shoot the ball well. They do everything no, I, inside through Jaden Ledee. Broom's going to clean that up. I'm telling you, I know it looks bad on the surface, but I like this matchup. I'm going to say that about every SEC team, though, so <laughs> start getting used to that. I did think they deserved a three, though. My goodness. Well, it's just, I mean, hmm. anyways, all right. Hey, have, have they named, was Connecticut the number one overall seed? I had the volume down yeah. like you guys oh, did. Yeah. Okay, they were. All right. Even without the volume, I could have, yeah, I think. We Tigers, eat Husky. Yes, yes. Chad, shout out to Chad. $4.99 Super Chat here. Auburn going to beat all of them. Tigers yes. eat Huskies. I like the confidence, Chad. If you're confident as well, leave a super chat. Because, again, guys, we've got about 600 people in here. We're probably not going to be able to get to all your chats. But if you leave a super chat, we guarantee you we can get to it. So, um, yeah. But. Here's something interesting, guys. Last year, entering the tournament, UConn was ranked fourth in Ken Palm. But they were a four seed. This year... Auburn. What are they ranked in Ken Palm? Mm. Four. What is their seed? Four. Hmm. Mm. I'm trying to see what we learned from the first bracket. Here's another thing. I had BYU as a five instead of a six, and quad one record for BYU six and eight. So under 500, five and two in quad two. Three and seven on the road. Well, Auburn was decent on the road. I mean, it was okay. It was five and five. I'm, I'm looking for things that tell us about what's coming up. Let's also <laughs> keep in mind what Auburn did the last time they made the Final Four. The teams they beat on their path to get there. Kansas, North Carolina, Kentucky lost to Virginia by a point. So, like, they had a hard road then, <laughs> and they still managed to navigate their way through it. And so, I mean, I – it, look, it's tough. When you get the number one overall seed, you know it's a, you have the toughest draw if you're a team that's going to have to play them before you get to the Final Four and or the Elite Eight, which is what Auburn will have to do. So, But you got to beat Yale first, and let's, let's just keep that in mind too. Like This is the NCAA tournament for a reason. Yale made a huge comeback today against Brown. Max and I are following that game. Yeah. While we're watching the, the SEC championship out there. and um, Yeah, so, I mean, you're talking about a Yale team. James Jones, great coach. You've heard his name mentioned. And like power conference jobs, specifically like Vanderbilt, I think the last time that job came around, all that, um, they play like an Ivy League team. <laughs> you know, they're they're not going to beat themselves. They're going to, I mean, they're going to work you, right? Play a slower tempo style, Max. Like that's just the way James Jones has kind of always done it there. 
And so, but Auburn's got the formula. We've said it many times. So, well, Yale's got to right. play smart. You know, they'll, they'll play smart. We'll break down the full matchup after the full bracket's revealed. We'll get into the matchups a little more, guys, but we're following it along right now. All right, here we go. The South on the other side of the bracket. Oh, boy. Probably going to be Houston or Purdue. Houston and Memphis. The Houston Cougars. If you're a fan of Cougars. I liked them a lot before Tugler went down. They got Tugler down and Terrence Arsenal down. So that, that two rotational players that Houston could be using right now are down. Houston so is the South wood. paired with the East? No. South's on the other side oh. of the bracket. Okay. It's top number eight top right. Ooh, number eight, Nebraska. Nebraska? They've been playing mm-hmm. good. They're going to give us Mississippi State Houston, aren't they? Ooh, Texas A&M, a nine. How about Ooh, that? Wow. That's Texas A&M, lovely. Houston, Max. The rematch. Ooh, that's an interesting wow. Guy. Nebraska is a seven. How about and that? A&M is a – I did have A&M as a nine. Four Nebraska has been playing very well. Hmm. That's the – oh, look at this region. Number five, Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. Houston, A&M, Nebraska, Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. This is the ball lover's dream. Lover of ball. And they're going to – so this is in Brooklyn. James Madison. Ooh, that's going to be a popular – that's well, going to be that? a popular 5-12 pick. Who does James Madison have? Wisconsin. <laughs> Ooh. That's going to be a popular wow. 5-12. The, the tournaments really didn't mean anything then. Of course they didn't. We've established that. Right. Mm. Man, Nebraska for Texas A&M is tough. That's a tough, it's a tough draw away Nebraska's played, but we'll talk about it. By the way, guys, I know you're leaving some chats. We'll look up as soon as we – oh, the Duke Blue Devils. Who do they have? The 13th – Duke's going to Brooklyn. Vermont. Ooh, Vermont. Ooh, John Becker. you want. John Becker oh, is back man. for revenge. My man. The monopoly of the American East. All right. Texas Tech is six in Pittsburgh. I know we're behind some of you guys, but we're just – this is how we, we have to react as we watch NC State and Texas Tech. That seems like one of those games that would happen. I have no clue how to pick that game. Hmm. All right. Staying in Pittsburgh here in the south region. And they're still talking about this game. NC Who's State the got three? Hmm. I don't they know we're doing a live show here. We need some good material to work with. They're stuck on Texas Tech and NC State. Kentucky, the Cats, headed to Pittsburgh. Oh, got a three. Oh, goodness. The cat. Oh. Well, hold on a second. Wait a minute. Wait. Hold on. Auburn got a four. Kentucky Wait. got a three. What? Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> what? Oh. Quad one. I bet that's what it is. Kentucky six and seven. Well, I guarantee you now. Wow, and Kentucky seven and Oakland. And three on the road. That's got to be what Campy. it was. I, I, I do oh, not agree. The Gators, the Gators, headed to Indianapolis as a seven. Hmm, thought they'd be a six. That's kind of Did tough too. for Florida, man. They're going to play the winner of Boise State and Colorado, which I, I don't hate that for Florida. I think it's fine. Oh man! Wow. Auburn fans, right, Kentucky. We've got, we got right Auburn in. fans, Kentucky fans in the chat right now. Who knows what that discussion is like? We'll look at it here in a few. Oh, Colorado's a 10. Okay. What'd you have them as? Uh, I think an 11, but I, I guess I guess the 10 would be the Dayton game because all the at large bits got taken. So I guess that's not really a surprise. Well, I don't know Marquette. what to expect. Okay. Marquette, Max, I don't think that's the worst draw for Florida is the seven, right? I mean, I'm not saying it's the best, but they're a seven seed. Marquette's a two, but I don't know if that's the worst. 
of the twos. Well, I mean, we wouldn't get Tennessee. We know that. But Western Kentucky is the 15. So, yeah, and, and Colex has been hurt. Yeah, so, I mean, wow. Okay. That play well, is always dangerous, though. There's always usually a play-in team that, does, that makes a little run. Hmm. Man. Wow. How in the world is Kentucky right, Chris. higher than Auburn? Compare it. Is, it. is it that simple with Kentucky and Auburn? Look, I had I had Auburn is the number 11 on the S curve that I did, and Kentucky is the 16. And and that's I, I did not really give Auburn any credit for beating Florida because I knew the committee wouldn't. So man, I, I don't I don't agree. Again, the conference tournament. Why play it? What the what's hell? the point? Like TV revenue. Well, I, I understand. Now look, I, Kentucky I know, did beat Auburn like, head to head in its building, but they don't do this head to head. They do it against the bracket. <laughs> yeah, it's the bracket. It's the full yeah. I got nothing against Kentucky. I'm just Listen, yeah, right. I mean, I think we were all floored by that. It was just and then four to a seven. Yeah, that was a little lower than weeks. But again, then Florida's run this week. What did it mean? It didn't mean anything. <laughs> it. I, I listen. Guess what it meant? Florida had to play how many games, and one of their one of their rotation guys got hurt. A starter got hurt, right? Yeah. And ultimately, it meant like the games didn't really mean anything for the resume. And so that's why you hear coaches talk about it going to these tournaments all the time now. It's what are we playing for? Like Cal's downplayed it. Other people have downplayed it. Like, yeah, I don't know. So mm. it's rough. I wish they just give the regular season champs the bids and get on with it. Yeah. So, all Man. right. I know there are people in the chat. I see it coming in. We're not anti-Kentucky. Please, if you're joining for the first time, we've been talking great things about the Cats for months now. We are just saying, if you looked at how they usually build the bracket, Chris is the the madman scientist over here. Um, Let's see what Bracket things. Matrix said. Well, there you go. So, um, bracket ma okay, Bracket Matrix had it closer. It had um, oh wait, no, they've already rearranged their stuff. Man. Well, of course, Matt. Of course, I love Kentucky. You know that. Okay. They did have Auburn higher, but not by much. Man, well, man, man. all right. So, Oakland, Kentucky fans, just for the record, um, Greg Campy has been there literally forever. Um, yeah. And they finally got back to the NCAA tournament. First time they won the Horizon League. They had came from the Summit League. First time this year they won the Horizon League. So, good for them. I used to do the Horizon League previews for Blue Ribbon. Talk to Greg Campy. Really good coach. Like, he can coach his butt off. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, they, they you have my team that's playing well down the stretch. They're playing really well. And so, that's an interesting one. Um, I think Kentucky's size will be a problem. But you could say that about a lot of teams. But, so, uh, yeah, we'll break the matchup down more, as we said. We got 800-plus people in here. You guys love the game. You love SEC basketball. You love the NCAA tournament. You may not love your draw, but if you're here for the first time, we got 800 plus people in here. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. If you think your favorite team is going to make the Final Four, hit the like button. Um, it's a good psychological thing we can use there. There you go. Wow. Mm. I don't even know what to say. My phone. Well, We'll talk because Florida's got Boise State or Colorado, as we said. So there is Boise. the potential Florida Kentucky Sweet 16 matchup. Man, <laughs> this is going to be chaos for sure. So, what, so what are our projections based on what we've seen so far? Alabama is going to get a what, Chris? Yeah, predictions probably a five. Tennessee's still a two. I don't think there could be yeah, any. Yeah, Tennessee's about that. not a two, I'll be floored. We still got to find Mississippi State. Who else are we missing? Who am I forgetting? South Carolina. Father yeah. Lamont. I, I thought they were going to be a six. Auburn strength, the resume had it as a three also. Mm -hmm. And Kentucky's had it as a five. Hey, the last time a top five team in Ken Palm got a four seed, they won the national championship. That's all I'm going to say. 
yeah hey michael we're we're actually doing that we're going through i'm just i'm saying them as i see them on the screen because i figured that there's some people who may not be able to watch and you may just be jumping in so yeah that's why we're reading it i know some people may say hey don't spoil it but we know there actually are probably people watching us that aren't actually watching the show so yeah i'm going to read them off so if you want to do a re quick recap yes, go ahead max do that and then i'll do a quick recap before we jump in yeah that's the plan um then the winner will play florida um and it's a the plan is a 10 usually you'll see him as in a as an 11 um but since all the uh since all those bubbles got bursted yesterday we see the plan be jumped up a seed line to the 10 um midwest so. here we go to the midwest and then we'll do a recap after that um to the midwest well, we go purdue. purdue purdue and indianapolis is is midwest on the same side with the east or the south whatever the one we just did montana okay, state or grambling south. state montana state grambling state is your matchup there so montana, montana state, state's grambling. not too bad we're from the big sky all right here we I go mississippi state i'm feeling it mississippi state the dogs i mean i don't think they're gonna be the eight i think they, didn't we say earlier max i told you i said what if we get a mississippi state purdue game utah yeah. state Okay, I would like this from Mississippi State, but then Utah, they State's, the Utah State's the eight. Correct. Sorry. Okay. Um, because look, I think State gets a nine. That may be an upgrade based on what we've seen so far. TCU. So that tells me Mississippi State oh. could be hmm. flirting with a ten. Hmm. I thought <clears throat> Utah State would be a couple lines higher. What the? Well, remember the conference tournament doesn't matter. No, I, I can't make rhyme a reason for what they're doing here. Gonzaga. The Zags in Salt Lake City. Is a five? Correct. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Where'd you have them? Oh, hold on. Guess who they're playing? The Ooh. fighting Will Wade's. Oh, Will Wade's losing his mind. He's losing there, his mind on Gonzaga TV right Gonzaga McNeese? Now. How is Gonzaga oh. a five? Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert on my 5-12 upset. Oh my goodness! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, now now I really, Chris, where'd you have them at? An eight. Uh oh, blue bloods. We're gonna have two blue nine. bloods: Alabama and Gonzaga. No, Gonzaga was three and six against Quad One. <laughs> I'm picking McNeese. <laughs> what? I'm picking this McNeese. Is incredible. Kansas is the four Samford. Oh, a McNeese Samford over the two blue bloods: the Zags and Kansas. Oh yeah. my! All God. in on. On a McNeese Kansas State is versus really Sanford. banged up too. Ooh! All right, guys in the chat, who's who's going with me on this one? Ultimate yeah. twelve thirteen McNeese versus Sanford. Winner goes to play Purdue as the one. Oh man! Wow! How did Gonzaga get a five? That is crazy. We'll discuss after we finish this bracket. All right, the six eleven, probably Alabama, right? South Carolina six. Okay, that's one we can at least They're justify fixed? and be okay with. South Carolina. Hey Sanford EJ, we are. Too. You're getting the chaos bracket. Don't worry, I want oh, yeah. the one out. South Carolina and Oregon. Ooh, they've been hot. Oh, jeez. Ooh, they've been hot. Oh, Gamecock fans, man. they've been hot. Man. We watched Oregon play Georgia first game of the oh, uh, season for the Ducks. Remember oh, that one, Max? No. Creighton's the three? Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, yuck. Ouch. South Carolina, yuck. Oh, my God. I don't like God. this. I don't like this, Gamecock fans. They're in Pittsburgh, too, by the way. Oh, Creighton man. and Akron. Oh, yeah. That's going to be. I don't Ooh. know how Gonzaga got a five and, and Carolina got a six. Mm. All right, we'll get back to Gonzaga in a second. Texas, another SEC school, number seven seed here. We'll be welcoming in the Longhorn fans next year. They're going to play the winner of Virginia. I did have Virginia in. And Colorado State. Or no, I did I didn't. not I'm think sorry. Virginia was getting in. I'm sorry. I had it. I had. I'm sorry. I knocked. I had Virginia as the first team out. Virginia is terrible. Why we're dramatic that means Oklahoma is not getting YouTube in. Live. We're just we're, we're having fun with this. It's the bracket reveal. We're dramatic because we're watching it. Tennessee and Texas. Rick Barnes. You knew they were going to do this. You knew they were going to do this. Tennessee, the two, going to play Texas. 
of course. Storylines aplenty there if that happens. So, Sakai so Siegler will eat up Abe Smith for lunch. Tennessee and Virginia in the second round. Wouldn't that be great? Tennessee got St. Peter's. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. Oh my god. I checked on the Sam. Committee knows what they're doing. They <laughs> <Where's Reese>? are <laughs> just a Where's bunch Reese? of little Sam. sneaky. Sam, it's gonna <sighs> be okay. I promise you. <laughs> I shouldn't have oh, promised no. Peter, <laughs> <Sam>. so. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. They definitely did it on oh. purpose. Of course they did. Definitely. These guys know what they're doing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is incredible. We knew it. We knew this was happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I got tears coming out right now. Some people Jeez. may be tears of anger. Mine are just tears of I don't even know what. And. So who do we got in that? We got South Carolina. So the next six. one will be the North Carolina against somebody. All right, let's recap this one real quick before we try to yeah. get ahead because people are asking for recap. So let's let's quickly discuss. All right. Run through. Let's get a quick run through, guys. If you're just catching up, you're trying to get all this and everything. Uh, by the way, South Carolina fans, we're not saying you're going to lose to Oregon. We're just we're mm -hmm. reacting on the fly. We haven't broke down the game yet. It's okay. Yeah. Number one, UConn uh, in the East. Uh, we've got SEC teams in there. Auburn is a four, which we did not necessarily think would be the case they're playing yale so they're over there in the Which east is with not UConn. a 12 that you in, crazy about getting in the south we've got texas a&m as a nine the number one seed there is houston we've also got kentucky as a three playing oakland as the 14 florida's the seven playing number 10 boise state or colorado the winner of that game uh, and now in the midwest we have south carolina as a six playing oregon and tennessee <laughs> playing the team that shall not be named we're not even gonna we're not even gonna mention their name. You know who you're playing Tennessee fans. We got a thousand people in the chat right now. If you're in the chat Woo. and you love your team, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Okay, Justin, we have no time for your shenanigans right now with your two dollar super chats asking if Dennis Gates is fired. You know my answer to that. Get out of here. Get him out of here. <clears throat> so who do we have left here? We got Mississippi State. Alabama. And Alabama. Alabama's probably a 10. <laughs> and Mississippi State probably a four. Probably out. Probably not even in the, They're probably in the play-in. No, we've already Don't got the two play-in games. Don't do that. <laughs> Again, seriously, guys, we got a 1,000 people watching this right now. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. If you're finding us for the first time, we cover SEC basketball like a bunch of maniacs. Uh, every good. single day of the week, we're, we're covering SEC basketball. We cover all these teams. There are eight of them in the tournament, and we will be having so much stuff for you guys this week. You... Won't even know what to do. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a thousand people watching this right now. So Tennessee's playing the Peacocks. There's just all kinds of bad voodoo with that. Uh, I don't know Who's that we seven? said anybody's. Say that again, Max. Who's the seven above above Tennessee that they might run into? Texas, Texas. of course, <laughs> or Virginia. Oh, wait, <laughs> Virginia's playing. Is it Colorado State? Yes, correct. Okay, the Rams. Man, and, and and Oregon's been playing lights out. That's interesting. They took they sent two Mountain West teams to Dayton. I didn't expect that. Utah State got I, a lower seat. I did. I guess they didn't like the Mountain West <laughs> as much as the computers did this year. Hey, do you know how they've treated the Mountain West over the years? I'm not surprised at all they sent you there. Um and boy, that's gonna be a lot made of that. Is it's fourteen? I'm sorry. I, I and they haven't like said down. New Mexico or Nevada yet, right? No. Oh god. Which means if they're in, they're not in the play in game. <laughs> There's a lot of teams weighing on oh, wait, this last didn't region. New Mexico New oh, Mexico's an auto bid. They won. They're an auto. Yeah, that was that hold on. So then Nevada. Yeah, won. Nevada. Yeah. I think There's they're gonna be like an eight nine there. though, right? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I could have great get is there is it's fourteen. I, I didn't somehow I didn't write Akron. That one down. Akron. Okay. Yep. Did you we'll see go that through the whole Akron bracket game? What? Did you see the end of the Akron game? How we Akron did. got there? Oh, okay. that was we that did. was tough, painful. We t we talked about it. it's brutal. Yeah. Um. All right. So we're gonna get the last draw here, and then guys, we're not 
we're not finishing as soon as the, the show finishes. We're going to be on talking about all these matchups. So there oh, are yeah. 1,100 people in here right now. If you want to know how much you guys love SEC basketball, an all-time record for any Southeastern 14 live stream, 1,100 people around the world watching this right now. We love you all. It just um, means more. It just means more. Just Nathan means more. just became a member. He's been a member for two months. His three favorite dudes right here keeping him entertained during this election Let's go. show. There we go. Let's go. Let's go, Man. as Max Barr would say. Here we go. Dude, commercials. Don't don't they know we've been waiting for the show for ye- like a year now? Get these commercials the year, out of here. Remember the year they did it alphabetically? North Carolina's the number one, by the way, in the West. No surprise. You're already seeing it? Yeah, you're way behind. What the heck? I got super speed. Michigan State here. is also out there waiting to see if it gets in. John Calipari paid for my internet. North Carolina's going to play either Howard or Wagner. Okay. Howard Wagner. I went to school with him. The 8-9 here. These are in Charlotte, by the way. So Max will get to see this. This is where Mississippi I'll be. State, the number eight. Yes! All right. For the Bulldogs. Yes! Let's go. They're going to play the number nine. How about a Michigan State? Wow. Okay. Did you have them as a nine, I really Chris? don't know what the committee's. Okay. No, I had them as a 10 and, and a horrible okay. quad one record. The same thing that we thought Auburn got penalized for. They didn't. I, I don't know what they were doing here. I, I cannot Chance. I cannot tell by where the committee is seating people what carried the day here. Five is St. Mary's? St. Mary's number five. Okay, so that means Alabama four. <laughs> I mean, we'll find out. <laughs> Maybe oh, they're gosh. a six. No, I'm just kidding. They're not going to be a six. They're going to be the four. Just wait for it. The Crimson Tide and Randy Bennett. Grand Canyon, the 12. Ooh. Ooh, they're I, good. That's St. Mary's Grand Canyon. That's one of the better games of the first round, I think. Yeah. That's good stuff. I like that Grand Spokane, Canyon. Spokane, by the way. Roll Tide about to head to Spokane. The number four seed. Number one in your hearts, or the opposite of that if you're an Auburn fan in here. Alabama, the Crimson yep. Tide. Okay. Number four. Okay. The number four Crimson Tide are going to match up with the 13. Charleston, just like we predicted. Oh, my God. We Gosh. said it would be Charleston. Thank Pat you, Charleston. Pat Kelsey, future Vanderbilt head coach. Just kidding. <laughs> Maybe. Whose list is he not on? Man. Clemson's the six in Memphis. Clemson will be walking in Memphis this week. In the West Bracket. Okay. Do they get the Mountain West team? They're going to get New Mexico. Yep. Okay. There them. we go. Yep. All right. 314 in Memphis as well. Baylor. Has Baylor been announced yet? Nope. Got to okay. be Baylor. It'll be the three, I bet. Okay. It's going to be the Baylor Bears. All right. All right. They're going to play the 14, which by my math is going to be Colgate. Colgate is correct. Somebody point out there's no set. no regionals in Texas this year. Let's play some. We got four teams left. Let's have some fun here. Dayton, who's going to be the 10? It's got to uh, be. TCU? Yeah. I think you're probably, I think you may be right. Nevada, the 10. Who's the okay. seven? That means TCU Dayton. didn't get in. Dayton, Nevada. Yeah. I got. Oh, Neither did Indiana All right, the State. Number two, who's left? I was. No, we've already had Iowa State. Who's the other two? Arizona. Arizona. They stink. Arizona's going to be the two, and they're going to play the fifteen. Who I'm trying to think. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Mm, I love trivia. Who's the other team? Uh, Oak. Not Oakland. Uh, no. Um, Big West. Long Beach State. Long Beach. Yes. It, how about a – that's a story, too. Yeah, Dan the Monson. coach. Dan he got Monson. Fired. He got fired. He coached through the tournament, and they won the tournament. <laughs> and he's – I think he said he – he told somebody, somebody told this to me, he said, I don't care what happens, I'm not coming back. <laughs> like, you know, what if he goes and beats Arizona? What are they going to do? All right, so there you go. TCU's already in, Chris. Yeah, wait a second. We had TCU Oh, where was nine. TCU? They're, oh, in, they're nine. Where were they in the? Um, yeah, they're, they're in the, the Midwest. Bottom right. So who okay, did so get Indiana in? Indiana State and Oklahoma were the teams that got left out. Sorry, guys. I told you we don't we don't look at the chat. We're looking at the screens right now. 
All right. So who got left out? Indiana State. Indiana State, Oklahoma, um, right. Pitt. St. John's. St. John's. Ooh, Saint I didn't John's. think St. John's should have been there. Seton Hall, Providence got left out. Wake Forest, okay. that's no surprise. Everybody knew so, Wake Forest was getting left out, but that's okay. your teams. Man. Well, Spokane is going to be <laughs> the Iron Bowl of basketball. Heads to Spokane this week. How about that? Wow. Good luck. You guys want to carpool, or is that not legal there? Are you allowed to carpool with other with an Auburn fan? It's a direct flight from Auburn to Spokane cost, I wonder. Give me you guys, give, give me the rule. Man, are, are you Mississippi against State carpooling? Michigan State. That's a that's a big time matchup. I might have some fun here. All right. Here's what I want you guys to do. The two guys I'm talking to on the screen right now. Go to the Southeastern 14 account. Retweet it. Let's get some more people. We, by the way, we've got 800 people watching on Twitter. we got 1,100 people watching right now on YouTube. So almost around 2,000 of you are joining in with Southeastern 14. And we've got the bracket now, so we will start to get into the fun part here. Um, and, yeah. By the way, some of you guys have left some. My goodness, we got a lot to catch up on here. Uh, we got Blake, Super Chats. If you, we if got, you, go ahead, Chris. Cause if, you, if you like to drive from Spokane or from Auburn to Spokane, it is 36 hours. That's 2, light. 2,363 miles. 36 hours? 36 wow. hours to drive from well, Auburn listen, to Spokane. We really want you to hang in there on the chat, but you're probably going to need to leave now. If you're trying right. to make the game, head on out, okay? So, my goodness. Get these guys out Let's of there. Let's see how far from Tuscaloosa. It's uh, 2,240. <laughs> it's two hours closer from Tuscaloosa. See? All right, here we go. Last four see? in, last four out. Let me read these to you guys. Boise State, Colorado, Virginia, Colorado State, the last team in. First four out. Oklahoma was the number one team left out. Seton Hall, number two. Indiana State, number three. Pitt, number four. St. John's nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. The last one in. That's interesting. They like the bubble there in Colorado, huh? <laughs> Tatiana's like the mountain west. On the way. They're all heading there. Our, our people, are. they're all heading to Spokane. Out of here. Yeah, usually one of these last four in make a run. Usually one of the playing games makes a little run. All right. Max Barr, I'm going to put you on. No, I'm going to do this, actually. You guys discuss among yourselves for a second. I'm going to pull this up real quick. What are you pulling up? I just, I want to pull something up. You guys discuss. All right. So who's got a a drivable road trip? Let's see. Kentucky goes to Pitt. Where's Florida getting sent? I have no clue. Okay. I should have written it. South Carolina goes to Pittsburgh. Tennessee's got a very drivable road trip. I'm trying to find the um, regions. Oh, I forget. Never mind. Max, actually, I'm going to put you on this because I forgot. I'm the only one that wrote this thing down. So, you what? guys, um, Max, I need you to look up the – find the bracket for me so we can pull it up on the screen. It's going to be somewhere. It's going to be posted either on NCAA, ESPN. Go ahead and pull that up. I'm on so it. we can get everybody the it. days and all that stuff ready to go. As we talk about these games and these regions, um, yeah, we need to get the the days and everything. Game times, I don't think, are out yet, guys. They'll come out soon. Um, All that kind of stuff. So, all right, to recap, because we have 1,300 people now watching on the YouTube Live here, an all-time record for Southeastern 14. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave us a super chat if you want to make sure we get to your comment. We got a lot of new members here too. We got Sam there. We got Tatiana. We got all kinds of people as members who have been members or recently become members. We got a lot of people joining. I think Justin gave out five Southeastern 14 memberships. So he's giving it out to people. That's awesome. We love that. Um, Roman became a, a new member of the It Just Means More tier, $3.99 a month. You can join us here at Southeastern 14. It's a donation sheet. It's just, we're just donating to the channel. You, you want us to do the 8 a.m. live streams. You want us to do all this. You want us to drive to Spokane. You want us to go to Auburn, drive to Spokane. 36 hours later, we'll do a live stream for you on no sleep. Um, don't tell Max that because he would not agree to that clause. But you tell, uh, You're talking about sleep? <laughs> yeah. We're not sleeping until I don't until know May. what that is anymore. Right? Nathan, $1.99. Every, wants everyone to join. Um, shout out to Auburn underscore who became a YouTube, YouTube member. We appreciate that. $3.99. Um, yeah. Thanks to Justin for handing out the memberships here. 
and we are about to break down the action. And let me quickly run through uh, a recap, and we're going to start looking at some of these games. Boy, I'm emailing it to you because I don't know how to change All it right. to a PDF. Chris, Send me thoughts? One, please. Chris, thought. No, I'll pull it up on the screen here. Let me. Let me. Chris, get some thoughts in, and I'm going to pull this up, and you. we're going to get going. So. Um, like like everybody else, hated Auburn's draw to to try to get to the Final Four. Um. Nebraska, Texas name is going to be interesting. Nebraska did not play well away from from Lincoln this year. That'll be an old, of course, Big 12 back in the day rivalry. Kentucky and Oakland, I know nothing about Oakland. Um, but that that seems like a region that I, I Kentucky could get out of the South, I think, if if the defense shows up, which it has from time to time. You know, Florida, Chris, Florida was up. really interesting. If, if if the hand logged an injury today, which I'm mm. sure everybody saw, I don't know what to make of them at this point because I I thought that was a team that could, with the right matchups, make a run. Hard to say now. You know, I'll be honest. I know, I said it before. I know Auburn fans are going to say they don't like the draw, but put it this way. Put it this way. Say you're a UConn fan. And you're, you know you're getting the number one overall seed. And at the four, you get the number one effective field goal defense, the number one two-point percentage defense with who I think should have been the SEC defensive player of the year. I I know Auburn fans, you know, you don't want to see UConn, but I'm telling you just as much, UConn, you don't you don't want to face the number one de- the number one two-point defense in the nation who just won the SEC tournament who has depth for days. Okay, so there's there's both angles to that. I think Auburn's right. scary here. Yeah, it's not that Auburn couldn't win. It was just I thought that Auburn deserved a better faith than it got. Here's another one. Yeah. Uh, Creighton's got some size, does it not? Yeah, golf runner. I mean, Creighton's South got a Carolina lot of getting, getting Oregon <laughs> and Creighton. I'm just thinking of how much issue – South Carolina had with Auburn, and we know that the size was a problem. I worry about that. I thought Carolina deserved a better draw. Tennessee's – look, Tennessee's going to roll St. Peter's. I know – Chris. People having fun with that. Chris, Chris, Chris. Chris. What are you doing? Oh, I know. my gosh. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you can't say that. Are you kidding me? Is that a no-hitter? We're not even an hour into this live stream, and you. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, what oh, is man. going on? Oh man, this is getting clipped right there. This is getting clipped. We are clipping this and putting yep. this on social media within the hour because you <laughs> i should know because you remember what happened the last time i just counted st peter's <laughs> we had a whole show about that <laughs> you picked kentucky to win the national championship and they mm. lost to st peter's and now you just said tennessee is gonna just <laughs> easy work oh man look at the chat right now the chat is exploding with people <laughs> like look, look, this is good the chris of death okay. yes I there you go pack the filter today <laughs> oh my god oh this man guy. oh oh my Jeez, the all right weed. please continue sorry i had to step back in for that one Jeez. Ooh. oh and wow. who else we got who's going to charlotte who's the team that's going that virginia to or texas in round two <laughs> 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 If you're Sam's somebody, a <laughs> having a oh tough my night. goodness! Hey, Tony's <laughs> packing. By the way, for the 36 hour drive to Spokane, he's ready to go. Hey, there you Top go. In. Listen, if any of you coming of that, through, Tony. if any of you coming through Nashville, let us know. We'll hop in the car, save a couple seats. We're yeah. ready to go. We got two SEC teams out there. We'll head out there for the Iron Bowl of basketball. Exactly. We'll pack some sandwiches so we don't have to stop, and we can make it 35 and a half hours. Max is on snack patrol. Yeah. Mm. All right. We got it ready, Blake? I think so. It's just been chaos here for the last couple of seconds. Uh, by the way, as I'm about to pull this bracket up, guys, be make sure also to follow us on Twitter, at 14 Southeastern. Just flip it, Southeastern 14. We're at 14 Southeastern on Twitter. Also, follow our individual accounts here. We have some fun 
on our individual accounts as well at the Blake level at Chris Lee 70 at max bar CBB. Give us a shout. We'll be doing a lot of fun stuff on uh, social media this week uh, included. And again, also follow our Instagram. I don't have the link. I can't find it, but I will find it shortly. <laughs> Trying to just do a hundred <laughs> different things here. All right, Max, I'm gonna pull the bracket up here. We also need to be on the lookout for game times, all that stuff. Anybody can monitor that on Twitter, please. Um, oh, did that not have times and stuff? Well, I don't think they probably – they're not announced them yet. So, oh, I, okay. I can't really – this is kind of small. When do too, lines so. come out? I can see it. Okay. Well, it looks small for me. Oh, um, let me let me drop the uh, let me drop the thing on the bottom. So. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> all right. So, there's – there's the full breakdown. So the East, West, South, Midwest. Again, we'll go through it. Um, and yeah, I mean, we've, boy, we, we've got a lot to discuss here. So let's start in the East. If we're going to go through these. And again, guys, we will do our individual game by game previews, uh, you know, probably tomorrow, Tuesday, something like that. We're going to get them out pretty quick. We'll start in the East. Again, UConn's the number one overall seed. We'll go to the Auburn game first. <clears throat> I know there's a lot of Auburn fans in here. Auburn the four against Yale the 13. We've already talked about it. Uh, UConn's the one. FAU Northwestern the eight nine. San Diego State UAB the five twelve. So there's a. I think there's room for chaos here, uh, other than the number one, uh, because again UAB red hot under Andy Kennedy. Um, you know FAU as we said they're an eight for a reason. It's not the exact same team we saw in the Final Four last year. So keep that in mind. And yeah, I mean I. I think, you know, the Yale matchup, as I mentioned, James Jones, they, they're they a very methodical team. They play like a an Ivy League-type team. And remember, too, let's not forget, we had an Ivy League team in the Sweet 16 last year. Don't forget that. I know that won't put the fear into Auburn fans, but remember, Princeton beat Arizona, then they beat Missouri. So, um, just saying. So, hey, is, just, just, is San Diego State in the same exact position they were last year? Were they a five in the East? I couldn't tell you. I know there were five. They were. They were. They were air Alabama fans from could Alabama tell you. to Spokane with three Alabama teams in Spokane. That is just crazy. <laughs> so, man. Well, I'll so be honest. I, mean, I, I think I think that yeah. that five seed out of the fives, you got Wisconsin, Gonzaga. What the heck? And then uh, St. Mary's, San Diego State. I know they're. I I love Brian Dutcher. I absolutely love him. Um, but I've I've watched a good amount of them this year, and uh, I think that's a good matchup for Auburn if they can get past if they can get past Yale. The, San Diego State does everything from inside, um, and if there's one thing that Auburn's not going to let you do, it's it's score inside. So I, I do like their if they can get past Yale. I like them to get to the Sweet 16. I do, but I don't look past Yale either. The Gonzaga thing still just bewilders me. Do you remember a few weeks ago when everybody said, I don't know if Gonzaga can win enough games to get in the tournament? They're a freaking five seed, and they didn't win the conference tournament. It's just the way you delivered it. Like, you were just speechless. You're, you can't even get words out. Like, it's just – I mean, I'll, I mean, I'll miss my seed or two on these, and that's fine, but that was, that was more than a seed or two. All right, guys. East region. Who you got coming out of the? Give me, give me your lead eight. Who you got coming out of the East? Auburn fans, you can be biased. I don't. We don't care. So, man, man. Initial reaction, I do like. I do like Drake over Washington State. That Drake team should have beaten Miami last year. They should have. I had them winning that game, and then that thing fell off late. I like Drake over Washington State. Iowa State a, is, is a solid two there. Chris, they were getting in the conversation for a one seed yeah. there after that huge Houston win. Yeah, I mean, I thought BYU was a little underseeded as a six. That regional was brutal. I've got – I think Connecticut was going to be my pre-tournament pick to win it all anyway, but there's some teams that can get in their way, starting with Auburn. Okay. I'm gonna pull this off the screen for now because it's the it's kind of small on the thing. So we'll just talk about each region, then we'll pull the bracket up, and then we'll pull it back, guys. That's how we'll do it. So, okay. um, all right. So, yeah. So UConn one, Iowa State two, Illinois three, Auburn the four. 
we're not going to pick our brackets yet, which we'll we'll, you know, we'll, we'll give you some thoughts. Uh, but I, I don't know how much chaos we get in the bottom part of this because to me it seems like it's an Iowa State-Illinois showdown. But, again, every time you say that, it's not how it unfolds. But, of course, you get an right. all-Big 12, Iowa State, BYU maybe. Um, yeah, I mean, I you know, Auburn and Yale, that's that's the thing. It's you know, UConn ain't making out of this. They're not I'm telling you right now, there's no way. Uh, I mean, you can, you can get FAU second round. I know FAU has has lost some games, but when it's uh, when it's a game like one of one, winner goes home, <laughs> FAU's got some really good offense. And they've been there before. I mean, they beat Arizona the beginning of the year on a neutral court. They 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 did not do UConn any favors. No, I, I think oh, this is there we on. go. Yes. This is it's the toughest region, I think, yeah. when you look at it. Because they got you got conference champion, conference champion, conference champion, like tournament champion, right? So like you got teams that are playing really well right now. Yeah. So yeah. Interesting. So but I go back to what I said earlier. If you didn't hear what I said earlier, I, I said I, I still think if you're picking an SEC team that you think has the best chance against UConn, I, it's probably Auburn. Um, yes. Will it play out that way? We don't know. But, like, I still think that's what the answer I would stick with is it's probably Auburn. And it's because of the complete balance, depth we've talked about all season long. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to throw this out there. Most entertaining four-team segment of the bracket here. Oh, it's easily. I think San Diego State, UAB, Auburn, Yale, just because I think UAB, San Diego State is. I don't know. I think you might have the wrong one. With what? Involving Alabama. How about St. Mary's Grand Canyon, the winner oh, getting Alabama hold on a second. Charleston? Well, we're you, you're going heck? to the other. Oh, you're going to the other part sorry. of the bracket. We're still in the East. Okay. I'm jumping the gun. <laughs> it's all over the place. Just tell you a lot of prep work here. Um, all right. We'll, we'll go to that one. You, so you're saying the whole entire tournament, what is the best? What do you, what'd you say again? I'm just saying that I find that one super entertaining. Oh, okay. Well, I wouldn't even look at that one. Well, I guess we'll give it a look. Um, Sorry. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Remember, that's the well, guy who said St. Peter's. Let's jump down to the West then. Let's just go down to it. All right. I'm just going to be completely honest with you. The West could be chaotic uh, because could you got be. – you, Max, you want to pull up the bracket as I'm doing this. We're, we're trying to juggle a bunch of different things. By the way, too, we're going to drop a link here. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, we're going to start putting some stuff on Instagram. You see it in the chat there. Might have to copy and paste that into something, but give us a follow on there. Um, all right, so the West, UNC's the one. Yep. They Arizona's stink. the two. They stink. By the way, Auburn fans, don't leave. We're going to come back to some general thoughts on some other stuff, too. We're just going to do a quick run through the bracket. Then we're going to kind of go into some more uh, thoughts on the overall, maybe some sleeper picks. SEC teams we got in the final four. Jamax already got four, I know. But we'll figure it out. <laughs> He's gonna spit on his computer. Caught me. The West, UNC's the one, Arizona's the two, Baylor's the three, Alabama's the four, St. Mary's the five. No, I, I agree with you, Chris. Like I from what I've seen so far here, Alabama Charleston, St. Mary's Grand Canyon is that is ridiculously entertaining. Uh, a foursome. So I mean, Charleston, we, again, we kind of predicted this. We said we think Alabama's probably going to get Charleston. And if you if you know how Pat Kelsey coaches, you kind of know what to expect from Charleston, right? Like, they're going to get up and down the floor just like Alabama. What else, Max? I mean, they are – I mean, they haven't lost a game since February 1. Like, keep that in mind. Like, there's a reason this team is 27. Like, they haven't lost a game in a month and a half. So they are feeling it right now. So, where are they in Ken Palm? They're ninety eight, but they're so they're like I'm not going to say they're a mid major Alabama, but they have the fifty eighth offense and the one hundred and seventy sixth defense. That's gonna be it's gonna be a fun game. It's gonna be two two offensive minded teams that that do not rank well defensively. Here's something interesting, and I know we're we're skipping around, but are you guys watching the S curve? No. South I've Carolina was a twenty four, which day. means South Carolina was was nearly given a seven seed. Wow. All right. 
This is so a good. They, uh, they disrespect Carl nice Lamont. Little, by the way, Tennessee was the first number two seed. That's not surprising. Quick so thought from the West. Who do you think has a good path? Um, well, I mean, here's the thing. And by the way, quickly for Auburn fans, we forgot to mention this. I was going to point out, Yale, Yale does have – they're one of those teams that, you know, sometimes it's like if we just guard that player or this player, Yale, Yale's balanced. They got five guys averaging double figures. Um but that's, again, that's to be expected because I think that's the way they've kind of done it there. They've had some stars come out of there, as we know, while James Jones has been there. But, they, yeah, they got they got Remember five guys. But Mason? They also right. came two-tenths of a second from losing to Brown today. That is also true. That is also true, Chris. That is correct. <laughs> You're not wrong. Just saying. <laughs> so, but But depth, I think, is something where you want to look at a strength for Auburn, potentially depth. Once you get through those top five, you got a guy averaging six and a guy averaging three. So the overall yeah. depth, and that's where I think Auburn's attack mode type stuff, it's going to get uh, interesting there. All right, yeah, you guys give us an update on who the panel's picking. I've turned the TV off. I don't Wait, care I'm who not they pick. That. So you said Clark pick Kentucky. Pick them to do what? Win the national championship? Give us <laughs> give us an update. I'm curious. Um, Charleston for the Alabama faithful. Yeah, I mean, I think this is a bracket where, like I said, I think there's a lot of potential chaos. I mean, Mississippi State, look. Max, you still got Mississippi State to the Final Four? I have a 20 to win three grand national champion future on Mississippi <laughs> State, all right? So, wow. Okay. All I'm right. going to be pulling for them. They got to go through UNC, either Alabama, St. Mary's. It, it's not the easiest road, I will say. They got to beat March Tom Izzo. So... Yeah. Yeah. That that'll be a really interesting game. The thing I like about their matchup with Michigan State though is that this is not a Michigan this is not last year's Michigan State team with Hauser that had them ripping the nets from 3. Um they're they're not as good as a 3 point shooter. They're still decent, but they're not as good as last year where they were like what were they last year? Third. Yeah. They would just rip the nets last year. So I do like it a little bit more. They were what preseason top, top five. ten, top five? Yeah, I mean, top twenty in Ken Palm. I'll I know tell they you didn't what, do much all year. But, around. No, go ahead, Chris. Well, I was just going to say I know they didn't do much all year, but the the predictives in the in the preseasons suggest that's a pretty good team. Oh, geez, let me. There we go. <laughs> All right. All right. So quickly on Charleston. Again, this is the team where, man, they play a lot of guys. Max, have you have you looked at Charleston's number? I, I was studying them because I had a feeling they were going to play an SEC team. I thought it'd be Alabama. I wasn't sure, but <laughs> Kelsey plays a lot of dudes, man. <laughs> they play a lot of guys there. Um, so we we'll soon to see because again, they you know they kind of the, the way it unfolds. They do want to play up and down, and but we have said sometimes too, like that isn't always the teams Alabama wants to play. And especially the teams offensively that are really skilled. Now they're obviously a better offensive team than defensive team. So that is something you look at too here. Um, yeah, teams kind of match up, right? Alabama's not the greatest defensive team, but Charleston will challenge you offensively. And they're going to challenge you from where, Max? Where are they going to challenge you? You know. From the three. Yep. This is a three-point game. Like you're going to see a, a million three-point attempts put up here. I'm going to look at the numbers actually because I was looking at this not long ago on the eighth the most. Eighth most. Eighth most. Okay, what's Alabama? They got to be. I mean, Alabama's got to be at the top, right? Maybe. Uh, I don't have them pulled up. Let's pull that up. Um. So, yeah. I mean, so this real is quick be a on lot Charleston, of. Though, remember last year they were a real popular twelve. They were the they were the twelve that played San Diego State, and they were yeah. very popular. A lot of people liked the the Mountain West fade, and Charleston had a. They were thirty one and three, I think, going into the tournament they're a very popular upset pick they shoot five of 24 from three that san diego state defense didn't give them anything uh the game ended 63 57 now this time around the, com the committee gives them the exact opposite team so if you're charleston and company you got a you got a chance but i bet this total is set somewhere in the 170s I'm not lying probably 160s 170s Here's your stat. 
Charleston, number three in the country in three-point field goal attempts per game, 30.6. Yep. Guess who's number four? Alabama, 30.3. Oh, You're game. getting 60-plus three-point attempts in this <laughs> game. I am all in on Alabama-Charleston. Get me a game time. If anybody out there sees a tweet that puts out the game times, I don't think they're out yet. But, Max, I want you to stay on that, too. Maybe I'm give on it a look. Make sure we get the game times. They'll be out soon. I know how that usually operates there. Um, so, boy, that's when you want to circle. I'm sure Auburn fans will want to watch it just because they want to see the potential upset. But if you're a basketball fan, you want to see a lot of three-pointers. You're getting it in that game. The most of any, probably in the NCAA tournaments, my guess. So, there's that. Um, yeah, so that's the West. We'll, we'll come back. South, that's where Houston is the number one. a and the nine. Max, you said earlier, the Nebraska matchup for A&M uh, doesn't feel like the greatest. Um, but, but the Houston rematch, I mean, that would be interesting, right? Remember, this team, these two teams played, only lost by four, and who didn't play that game, Max, for A&M? Or was it when they got him back? I'm sorry. No, they, not they were still really? without Radford. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Lost by yeah. four with, with no Radford. So, just a, just a thought, just a thought. The one thing I will say about Alabama, real quick, is is this is the this is the type of game that they would they would want, basically a mini me type of thing. You know, they would. I would be more nervous <clears throat> if they got a team like Samford or McNeese who has super high steal rates and and gets nasty defensively. Uh, I think they can kind of do what Charleston like Charleston is mini Alabama with the three point rates in the offense. So I think I think that's good for Alabama as a anything you can do, well we're gonna do it way better type of thing. Um so it might actually be good now that I think about it. Yeah, I'm 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 reverse tinkering on that. I actually love that. I like Alabama now. Yep. Okay. All right. Um Let's see. So, again, a and going to get Nebraska. Kentucky gets Oakland. We talked about that earlier. I just – I don't hate this matchup for Kentucky. I mean, I know we're going to pick – people are pick on Kentucky given some of the recent games in the tournament. But I just – I don't think this is the worst matchup. Like I said, they're going to have a big size advantage in this one. Um, but, I mean, Greg Campy, he's he's been around this thing a long time. Uh, they got some some good players. I'm going to look up their numbers here because I remember actually talking to Greg Campy about some of these players when I was doing the Horizon League. This was, I'm like, I haven't done this in a couple of years for Blue Ribbon, but this guy stay in you know, school now for eight years based on, you know, the extra year and all that. So some of these players, I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember talking to him about these guys. So, yeah, I mean, the Cats, I, I think even, honestly, guys, I look at this, Kentucky is the three against Oakland, Texas Tech's the six, and the NC State's the 11. I know NC State's red hot. If Kentucky fans are going to have a meltdown, I can understand it being warranted if they don't get out of this mini poll right here. Yeah. Because I think this is – I just do not see this as a bad draw for Kentucky at all. Um, but I, I don't know. see that Oakland does anything exceptionally well. And they barely won their conference tournament. They were They were scraping by like from the quarters, I think. Horizon League's not. It's not um, awful, but so if 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 Kentucky yeah, does get out of that little spot right there, they're looking at who? Florida, Boise, Colorado, or Marquette? Which I still think is favorable for Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you said, I mean, Colac. Do, do we know? Like, what? I mean, they've been playing without him, but like, do we know? It's an oblique. Like, so, and he hasn't played in six games. So yeah. Obliques take forever to heal in, in baseball. I know that's you, you do totally different things, but yeah, it's, it's like, obliques, obliques will keep really a baseball natural. player out two or three months. I, I don't yeah. know how it affects the basketball. I don't know that I've ever heard of a basketball player having an oblique. Is that what you would they categorize oblique with like hernia type of things, or is that completely different? I'm not a doctor. I different. don't know. Different. Okay, yeah, I'm probably gonna get crushed for that in the comments <laughs> well let, let me just and, and boy again anytime anyone associated with southeastern 14 says something good about kentucky usually the opposite happens um blame yeah. chris for starting that trend but 
I'm gonna be honest with you. If we have to make the say right now who we think has the best path to the final four, I think it's actually I'm gonna take that back. Best path to the Elite Eight. <laughs> because I don't know that I would love Kentucky against Houston. Um, right. But in all honesty, like you look at the South, I, I think it's, I mean, beyond Houston, I think you're talking about teams that are upset alert, like Wisconsin against James Madison. Vermont could beat Duke. Yeah. Well, let Something me throw like one more in there too. Kentucky, Florida in a rematch couple games down i mean that's that's one that you're probably not super excited about if you're a kentucky fan but no hand logged in and kentucky's got all kinds of size and that really hits the gators there yeah yeah i mean do they were to get by marquette if duke still had Derek lively they would be they would be dangerous but they don't they played flip at the four the entire year last year and they got him playing the five this year it's just it's not it's not working it's not working duke i'm not scared of at all wisconsin james madison could easily beat them um yeah i think i think if there's a region that's just like hey besides well besides houston hey who who wants it go take it i think it's the south but also with houston i know they're they're phenomenal i know but their sixth and seventh man are out for the season. No Terrence Arsenal, no JoJo Tugler. So, I mean, that's got to hold some significance also. And then Marquette has Kolak out. The one and the two in the south are both injury-ridden. And then want to move down to the, the Midwest where we've got yeah. – We've got South Carolina as the six. Oregon is red hot, just blazed through the the Pac-12. And then it's Creighton against Akron on the other side of that. And then the big potential Tennessee-Texas matchup that everyone keeps commenting about. With the all-SEC, we've got three SEC teams in the Sweet 16 in this bracket. It's going to be South Carolina, Tennessee, and Texas. Um, Actually, it's not possible, of course, as we know. Uh, so, I mean, Chris has already put the the voodoo on Tennessee. So, but again, guys, I just gonna say it. Like, there's a reason why I said I think Kentucky has the best path. Yeah, it's because I don't Wait. necessarily love this for Tennessee. So, I'm just being honest. Like, and and, and listen, the, part of this, of course, is coming off of what we saw from Tennessee as we're sitting there watching them on Friday. It was very disappointing. And I think that just leaves the bad taste in your mouth. And now you see them matched up. I would like their chances against Virginia or Colorado State for the record. But Texas, it's an interesting matchup. I mean, Tennessee's better. They're a two seed for a reason. The Creighton game, Max, that's the one for me. You you know why, right? Because, I mean, if you're looking at what Creighton does well. Yep. Oh. Creighton's a dangerous, dangerous team. That's why when we got that, when we got this region, when you were reading it off to us, my reaction wasn't to Oregon. It was to, it was to Creighton as the three. Um, I watched them play UConn at home and look like the Golden State Warriors. I, I mean, Stephen Ashworth is is phenomenal at point guard. He start kind of started out the season slow. Kalkbrenner's been there forever. Trey Alexander's a pro. Baylor Shireman's a pro. Mason Miller at the four shoots the lights out. Um, the, could, Creighton's a dangerous team. What have we been saying on Tennessee for two months now? Like, here, what's the draw? And you get in the tournament that you don't want. And that's why I thought it was important for Tennessee to have a good tournament and, and get a one seed. And it didn't. And now, once you don't get a one, you knew you're going to be – and you had a chance to be in a bracket with either Purdue or Connecticut. Uh, not only did Tennessee get in the same region with Purdue, it also got in the same region with Creighton, which again has size that could be problematic. If Tennessee would have got the one in the West, 
Oh, I my would goodness. probably be saying right now. Yep. I got Tennessee in the final four. <laughs> I mean, in all honesty, like, because I look at the West and I'm thinking, of course, Mississippi State wouldn't be the eight. We know that. But right. I would like a matchup against Michigan State. I would like a matchup against, which again, Alabama could technically be the four if Tennessee was still there. Unlikely, but technically, I think that could still happen, depending on how the other, you know, geographical stuff would, would have fallen. But Arizona's the two. I mean, yeah, and you, that's a good point, Chris. Like now, I think though, it's like you get a great team. What, what's the criteria, Max, for teams that win a national championship? What's the numbers? What does it have to be? The the there's a lot, but the overall one where it's every single team is yeah. twenty two offense, top fifty defense. Creighton. Yep. Twelve and twenty four. So. Yeah. So there you go. I just. I think it's not also the played in the conference that's known to be physical. Yeah. 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 I don't. Let's I don't talk. Can we it. talk upsets real quick? Who like maybe 11's lower who we like? Yeah, I'll give you mine. I'll give you mine first because I already know who yours is. Who's, you already know mine. Okay. Who's yours? McNeese. That's yours? Yeah. Oh, well, that's mm. mine. So. I know. <laughs> okay, I was just making sure. I thought we had the same. Yeah, I think McNeese is a. That's a rough matchup for the Zags. Yeah. South Carolina, Oregon. Oregon. Can we talk that real, real quick? Because we haven't Let's said dive a lot in. about that. I know we got some South Carolina fans in here. Yeah. Um, I've I watched mean, Oregon's one of, Oregon. Well, you know they're one of those teams that, as we always say, right? They they get hot at the right time, and sometimes that that's important. <laughs> you just get hot at the right time. Uh. But I don't know, Max. I mean, they were, I don't know. They're not the most reliable team. Like, I mean, they they were very inconsistent up until that point of winning Yeah. there, right? And so, I don't know. I mean, we said it's a tough matchup, but I think it's just because of how hot Oregon has been over the past yeah. two weeks. But really, if you go back beyond that, they lost at Cal. Cal's not very good. Lost at UCLA. UCLA's not very good. Um, no, lost to Santa Clara earlier in the season, lost to Syracuse. So they've lost to, to bad opponents. And I think that's something I always like to look at is who had yep. bad losses. And that was something we talked about with South Carolina, right? They really avoided those this year. And so stylistically, it'll be interesting, but I don't know. I, the more I look at it, I don't, I don't completely hate it for South Carolina. I hate the second round matchup, but I don't, I don't necessarily hate the first round matchup. Well, Here's the thing with, interesting about – go ahead, Max. No, I, w- I was just going to say the thing with Oregon that makes them very hard to to kind of get a feel for is their best player, who might be the best player in the, the Pac-12 with how he just played in the tournament. And Folly Dante missed half the season. And and he, when, I, when I'm talking monster, like 7 foot 240 monster – he's he's a game changer. So that's why they have some some brutal early season losses, like a 20-point smacking against Syracuse. There's no Dante. Um, so that's why the team is a little bit – there's some there's some question marks with Oregon is because they were all banged up this year. Um, but a re- one reason why I would like South Carolina against them, how much South Carolina makes it tough for guards to do stuff off the dribble um, – Oregon's got some young guards. They lean a lot on young guards. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jackson Selstad, he's he's great. He's great, but he is a freshman that plays ninety percent of the point guard minutes. Um, so, you know that's something to keep an eye on. And then they also play a freshman, Kwame Evans at the four. Um, and I'll take Colin Murray Boyles all night. So, there's things to like. There's things to be worried about. Well, they also lean heavily on an old guard who they'll know pretty well, Jermaine wow. Cousinard. Yeah, yeah, who played um, there about 15 years ago, it seems like. I know, and he's the highest <laughs> usage guy on the team, played 81% of minutes. Uh, I don't know I, that I saw that one coming from, from two years ago, but that's what happens when guys get nine years of eligibility or whatever we're on now. Interesting thing about Oregon, Oregon didn't really beat much of anybody this year. Arizona – Washington State, Colorado, only three wins of much consequence. But guess what? All those happened away from home. 
So that's kind of interesting. Yeah. Well, like you got anything else on this game? A quick reset here. We got 1,600 people watching this thing right now Oof. here on YouTube. We got 1,000 watching on Twitter, 20, 2,500 people watching. It just means more here at Southeastern 14 and in SEC basketball. If you're new here, which I know, I'm sure we have a lot of new people joining in, hit the subscribe button. We cover SEC basketball like absolute maniacs. You'll have so many videos this week, um, a gazillion maybe. It, it, that may be too low, to be honest with you. And so hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. If you want to join our It Just Means More tier, you'll see that join button. Do it, $3.99 a month. That supports the channel that allows us to do more live streams like this, do a lot more videos for you guys, which is exactly what we want to do. So, um, yeah, you, you guys really help the channel grow. So we appreciate you. Tell a friend, SEC basketball friends, all this other stuff. Uh, of course, we cover SEC football and baseball too, but it's basketball season, baby. I know it's baseball season, but it's March. So give us a give us a subscribe there. Uh this game, we'll break it down uh tomorrow probably. But yeah, I I don't hate as much as I did, but we'll see. So let's talk Mississippi State, Michigan State for a little bit. We didn't dive yeah. into that much. Well, I mean <laughs> Josh Hubbard is the man, and I think he is kind of that difference this year for me with Michigan State is if you feel like they've got the guard play, we know you're going to get beat up by Cam Matthews. You're going to get beat up by Tolu Smith, the physicality they play with. We know that. And so it's just about the guard play. And I think Josh Hubbard has been kind of that missing piece, which we talked about a lot. And so I don't, I don't hate it, but I mean, <laughs> you know, you're always, it's always tough when you got a Tom Mizzo coach team in this tournament and Michigan state's another one of those teams. If you honestly look back on it, I'm looking at it now. I mean, they they lost down the stretch, of course, you know, losing a game like to Indiana. They played a gazillion close games. Um, but they lost a lot of those close games, too, if you really look at it here. So they lost to Purdue in the Big Ten tournament by five, at Indiana by a point, at Purdue by six, home against Ohio State by three, home against Iowa by seven, at Minnesota by three, at Illinois by three, James Madison to start the season by three in overtime. Arizona by six. At Nebraska by seven. You see the theme here. Mm -hmm. This team's played in a lot of close games, but there have been a lot of instances where they've not been able to close out some of these games too, including losing four or five to end the regular season, and then they lost to Purdue by five in the conference tournament. So usually in these eight, nine games, you're getting teams who aren't exactly playing their best basketball in the world. You're, you're kind of getting that if you're Mississippi State. I don't, I don't think Michigan State's playing their best basketball right now, so it doesn't feel like the worst possible draw at all. So, and one thing I like about the matchup is that Miss Michigan State's worst position is M Mississippi State's best. That's being center. Um, they it has been a nightmare for Izzo between. You just look at the Ken Palm page. There's four guys over 13% of the minutes at center. It's a rotation of Carson Cooper, Jackson Kohler, Mady Sissoko, and Xavier Booker. Give me Tolu Smith and the Silverback Gorilla Jimmy Bell Jr. all day, all night over that front court. Are you kidding me? Bully ball is happening in March. You're not going to be able to avoid it, and it's going to be right here. When Mississippi State takes it to the weak front court of Michigan State. Hmm. Okay. That Bold was a little prediction. bolder than I thought it would be. Bold. I like this Mississippi State. You know, State one team. thing that that just stood out to us so much about watching State play is is how Hubbard was able to get off shots. His hang time on his I mean, jump that, shot. That kid is such a great ball player. Goodness. Yeah, he's tremendous. He's the miss. I mean, he's the difference, right? So that's why this year, I think, if you're looking at Max joke, but like he's the difference, I think, as you kind of look at the guard play last year. We, we just, they were such a terrible shooting team. I'm not saying they're the greatest this year, but he can at least make shots. He can, you have to guard him on the perimeter. Last year, guess, you yeah. had, guess who you had to guard on the perimeter? I have no idea. I don't know if there's anyone yet to guard because they're the worst three-point shooting team in the country. And so 
that's the difference now is they have someone who can at least force the other team to put some pressure defensively, and then that opens up more for Cam Matthews to go all bully ball, put the head down, rumble and tumble to the rim. Tolu Smith to do his thing. Jeffries, we mentioned. So, yeah. I mean, look at what Auburn just did in the SEC tournament. They beat South Carolina by 31. They beat Florida by 19. Mississippi State, man, that was a game. That was a great game. So, I think that's what that was a great point that you made, Blake. The eight nines, seven tens, usually teams that are reeling a little bit. Mississippi State is on fire. Yeah. They're playing the well. Because you, I mean, you look at the rest of the eight nines, right? Like AM's a nine, they're playing well. Nebraska. You do get you feel like you've got a little bit more of that this year. Now, some of that probably come down to, as we said, there were some bid thieves that yep. pushed some seating around a little bit, probably. Like, so yeah, that that's definitely good. I yeah, like Mississippi State, they're they're an interesting watch here because UNC's the number one seed. I get it, but I, there, there's something about Mississippi State. We'll see how far we take them in our bracket, but there's something about this this Bulldog squad here. We'll see. Any other matchups we haven't gotten to? Well, here's what I want from the chat. 1,700 people currently in here right now on YouTube. Uh, give us your, your first round upset. G- give me the yeah. one you're eyeing. Who's the upset that you're seeing? Can't wait for all the Auburn fans to pick Alabama, all the Alabama fans to pick Auburn. That's what I look forward to most. But g- give us your your bracket. If you're already filling one out, who's your, your upset special in the first round? Someone asked earlier if we could see a 16 beating a 1. I don't think so. Who does Montana North Carolina State, play? Max pointed out Montana State earlier. Howard they win the, Who's Montana State play? They're going to play Purdue, um, but they got to be grambling first. Yeah, and then they get Purdue. Nah. Nah. Do we <laughs> – oh, you know what I'm going to ask next. Does anyone see a 215 upset? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You did not just ask that. What about you, Chris? Lee? Let's what do you Kentucky's think? Kentucky's a – a team that's played some pretty good ball lately as a 15. Mark I, I'm not, I'm not going where you on. guys want me to go. Okay. You already um, went there. Not... I mean, you don't have to go anywhere. Oh, come on. <laughs> you said earlier, Tennessee is going to win by 50. South Dakota state's not usually not, not as good as it usually is. That used to be a team that would get a 13 and, and do some, do some scary things, but. Hmm. Which well, um, Western, let's see. I want to look at Western Kentucky's profile for a minute. Here's a um, here's a crazy. Western stat. Kentucky um, did not win a quad one or quad two game, and yeah, it only Chris, played one of them. So let's get that nonsense out of here. Yeah, I, listen I think to I'll, this from from Fanta. Listen right. to this. For the first time in the 45 year history of the Big East Conference, a team five games over 500 did not make the tournament. First time ever in Big East history at Seton Hall. Goodness. This 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 tournament right here is going to go down as like one of the craziest bubbles we've ever seen when it comes to teams that got in late, got bounced, bubbles bursted Saturday night. This one is nuts. Okay, I want to ask you guys something. Conference of the committee showed the most favorable bias because I got an answer in my head. I got to look at the bracket. Who's your answer? ACC. They overseeded them or underseeded them. I I don't look at any ACC team and say that got that team got underseeded. You could argue okay. they were all seated appropriately, but I look at some other leagues and go, man. And here's another one: the West Coast Conference. Um, I, I thought got favorable treatment. Yeah, St. Mary's and and you heard my Gonzaga rant, but I mean, I don't. Of- farthest off of what you had out of any team yeah i i just i was floored by that but and and by the predictives they're they're deserving but you got to beat some teams i mean if we're gonna if we're gonna play that card with gonzaga then then where did auburn get the the treatment i i didn't i i, I looked at this and i didn't really understand what the committee had valued. I, I did think that the the conference that got undervalued a little bit, according to what I thought was going to happen, was the Mountain West. 
And I thought the ACC, I mean, um, what did Duke get a three or Duke got a four, right? Yep. Which is probably right. North Carolina got a one, which that was probably the right number one seed. I think that's the one everybody had. But I I thought that North Carolina State might be a 12 instead of a, an 11. I don't know. It's, here's here's a thought. So, I, I did not understand the SEC seeding. I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll leave it at that. I I was I was off a seed line on most of these teams. Chris, you could we could loop this reaction show from 2023, and you said the same thing. So like it, it may yeah, be I a, did. a trend at this point. So we have, we have spreads, guys, and that's why I was thinking because I thought that I thought the ACC teams last year got got generous seeds. Max, before I forget, let me say this real quick, and then we'll get to the spreads. So okay. Remember, Auburn, we talk about why would this happen. Okay, if you look at it, since February 14th when they beat South Carolina by 40, Auburn beat Georgia twice, they beat Missouri, they beat Mississippi State at home, right? Those are those are four of the wins they had of the last five. They lost to Tennessee. If we assume that their conference wins did not matter, which were you know three of their biggest wins of the season, South Carolina, Mississippi State, Florida, if you look at it from a number standpoint, right? Then, again, it's the committee just completely devaluing anything that they did in the SEC tournament. And they beat three NCAA tournament teams in the SEC tournament. Mm. So, I mean, yeah, that's I just think it's brutal. All right, Max, the spreads. Spreads are out. I'm going to run through the. Max, you're muted. Oh, what the heck was that? Okay. And now your mic's off. Max minus minus three forty against the microphone. Are we good now? Yeah, you're good. Now we're good. All right. All right. Um, Tennessee minus eighteen and a half over St. Peter's. Oh. South Carolina minus one and a half favored Ooh. against Oregon. As the six eleven. Yep. Kentucky minus twelve and a half over Oakland. Mm. Mississippi State. A short plus one and a half underdog against Michigan State. I could see that. Alabama, ten and a half point favorites against Charleston. Wow. Ooh. Auburn, eleven and a half point favorites against oh. Yale. Okay. Texas A and M, a short two and a half point underdog against Nebraska. And there you have it. That's all the odds out. Alabama feels high. Nebraska's that. favored. Nebraska's favored by two and a half. Okay. I Nebraska can see was not good away from home. That might be one to look out for. I mean, A and M. They, they they won some games. Yeah, I just I mean they beat LSU. They beat Missouri. They beat Georgia. They beat Ole Miss during the regular season in SEC play away from home. So. They they weren't won exactly 10 the games best team away from away. home, huh? They won ten games away from home. The problem with A and M is just when you think you know what A and M is, it does something different. Well, my my point but, is that during the SEC, yeah. they did not win a game away from home against an NCAA tournament team. Okay, got you. Yeah, but I, you think, I think that's that's a team we could argue maybe figured some things out late. Abasaki became a bigger part of what they did because we just said, hey, their offense right now is whatever Radford and Wade Taylor can create. And, and boy, those were not easy shots for those two to create. But you had a third guy in the mix, and all of a sudden it becomes a little bit easier. Those guys scored a lot of points in Nashville, guys. That, that felt like a team that maybe had figured some stuff out late. Florida, Max, did you say them? Or are they not listed yet? I oh, by, by the way, one more thing. If a and wins that game, they get a rematch with Houston, which they played in Houston the first time around, and I believe that one went to the final minute, did it not? Yeah, we said that earlier. They played without Radford. Yeah, sorry. In that one. So, yeah, Brief. yeah, they, they were yeah. without Radford in that one and still only lost by four. So, that was the way Taylor just went off, right? So, yeah, yeah. which is always a possibility. Uh, yeah, someone asked about Florida. They, they don't – we don't have an opponent for Florida, so there's no – yeah, they're, the they're thing waiting about, for Boise State, Colorado. The thing that I'm scared about, not scared, I'm just kind of having PTSD from to last season is um, Nebraska, Nebraska can shoot the three ball. 
and I'm just scared for what happened last season. Um, yeah. Zach, um, there's no Florida spread yet because there's a play in. So I've got, got to wait. Yeah. You won't get that one until whenever that game's played two days before. We still don't have game times from what I'm searching here yet. So we do have game times. Oh, well, let's get them. Well, according to FanDuel, um, Tennessee St. Peter's, I think, is the first SEC team to play Thursday at 11 Central. Oh. oh we also the... have South Carolina, Oregon oh, Thursday no. at 11 Central. Of course. And the next SEC team to play is Kentucky, Oakland, also at 11 Central. No, this can't be right. Are <laughs> you kidding me? There's right. no way. There's I think no this, way. Is this is right. a fan duel like. Everyone dis dis disregard that. Yeah, FanDuel doesn't know what's going on. FanDuel here. don't. They're just throwing lines up Good and grief. slapping a time on it. Don't what are do they making me? Make me look like an idiot out here. Don't do that to us, FanDuel. Sorry about All that. Right. <laughs> That's okay. Whatever. By by the way, fun fact: Who was the only team in the country in the top ten of offensive and defensive efficiency at Ken Palm? Not Auburn. It is Auburn. Yeah, UConn just missed one and eleven, but I think that wasn't that UConn's profile last year, like really great on both ends of the floor, and and also a four seed. UConn is the same exact. It's the same exact thing as Auburn. UConn was the f- number right. four overall Ken Palm team, and they got a four seed. Same exact thing as Auburn. These two teams should not be paired together before the Elite Eight. No, they they and they're going to the play East, in the Sweet Sixteen. <laughs> So the, the, there were too many good teams put in the East. Yeah. yeah. All right. There you have it. Well, I wanted to hang on for game times, but I don't know if we're going to get those before we hop off. But again, guys, there's 1,700 people in here, 1,800 almost. A lot of new people. Hit the subscribe button. Follow us all on Twitter. Um, you see our handles on the screen there. Give us all a follow. We'll have a lot of coverage here throughout the tournament. Uh, we'll have prediction videos. If you're new here, every single game, we'll have a preview and prediction for every single SEC game in the NCAA tournament. There are eight of them as of right now. So follow us with that. We'll also have some breakdowns looking at individual storylines for some of these games in separate videos. We'll fill out a bracket. We'll fill out a chaos bracket. We'll have some fun with this thing. So we're going to have a lot of stuff coming here at Southeastern 14, covering all these SEC teams in there. I know some people are going to ask, are we going to be covering the NIT? Probably not. <laughs> so I don't know if any <laughs> SEC teams are going to get in. I just want to be honest. Like, more than likely, uh, we will not do a lot of everybody NIT coverage. Of anybody of any stature, I think, is going to be declining NIT bids because the portal opens tomorrow. Yeah, we, we cover a lot, all SEC basketball, but um, we're probably not going to put a lot of coverage into the NIT this year. So... NCAA tournament, though, we're going to be all over it. I got something for you guys. See, see you can get closest. All right. How many How many of Ken Pomeroy's top 20 adjusted defensive teams did not make the field? Uh, none. Oh, I yeah, it's zero because I know where you're going. It's zero. You're not even close. What is what? it? Six. Six. Six of his top 10 really? adjusted defensive. Yes. How many on offense? I thought you were going to pull out the the importance of the defense card. No, I, w- I would think the offense made it. This year seems to be different in terms of at least teams that got in. How, how many of how many offensive teams in the top twenty were left out? One, two, one, two. Uh, Iowa and St. John's and St. John's was twenty. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, real quick, there's a few spreads for underdogs that are just scary close listen listen to a few of these guys grand canyon 12 against five saint mary's the spreads four and a half same thing with wisconsin against james madison 5 12 spreads four and a half yeah and then mcneese against gonzaga six and a half Woo! those are some close spreads for a 5 12 I know there's usually one or two that are close, but man, man, man. And All then right. Stanford, eight and a half against Kansas. 
Interesting. That might be your first run upset. Sanford's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they shoot threes like there's no tomorrow. And Kansas has beaten up. Yeah. And not right. deep. So if you had to right now, we are gonna we're not filling out an official bracket, okay? I'm putting everybody on the spot, including those in the chat who I know may be a little biased, but we're gonna do it anyways. Which SEC team, how many SEC teams, let's, let's rephrase it this way, how many SEC teams lose in the first round mm. is the first question. Okay. And you don't even have to say the teams. Just give me a number. We won't spoil who the team is. We're just going to take a number. I'm going down the list. Give me a second. Give me a second. Max, I'm going to put you in control of this for 15 seconds. I've got to hop off and charge my my camera slash phone here and i'm gonna hop right back on okay okay um all right chris i'm gonna say well let's look at the the games that are really close that could potentially the the sec could potentially drop okay how, how many games that the sec is involved in have spreads under five okay i like auburn this. is not one of them a&M would be one of them. Kentucky yep. is not one of them. We don't know who Florida is playing yet. Florida also has an injury. You said South Carolina Oregon was what, point and a half? Yep. So it's Texas A&M and South Carolina both have close spreads. And Mississippi yeah, State. Uh, Mississippi State and Tennessee St. Peter's was 18. So that crossed that one off your list for, of, of close spread games. So that's what, four? Three. We have Mississippi State Three. has a close spread. Texas A&M. And South Carolina. And and waiting on Florida. Waiting on Florida. Which I'm guessing that might be a might be, be an under five. It'll be a close spread. Yeah. So yeah, I'd say my answer, first round that goes down, I'm gonna say two. I'm gonna say two. That's my answer. We've got if we've got four spreads under five points, I'll go, I'll go two. You guys know I'm the ultimate pessimist when it comes to the NCAA tournament and SEC teams. So I'm going to go three. But that I haven't filled out my bracket yet, so that could change. And more than likely, when I fill out my bracket, I'll find a way to advance everybody. Yes. So yes. <laughs> that's usually how it works. So uh, there you go. A um, lot, lot, lot of – I mean, this is incredible. Look, look at the chat. We're up to eight, over 1,800 people in here watching this thing. This is March, baby. Awesome. I mean, my goodness. By the way, too, I just want to put out a quick trivia note, okay? You know how many people we had watching at once this time last year when Chris and I were doing this? 300. 300. We have 1,800 people watching this year. You guys oh. are absolutely fantastic. So I just got to say that. Like, this is incredible. So, yeah, you guys are just tremendous. All right, so that was the first question, was how many SEC teams ousted in round one? How many SEC teams, as of right now, <laughs> yes, I agree, EJ. It is the Mad Max effect. All about Max. Everybody said, you know what? We're watching Chris and Blake. Are you kidding me? Max comes in, 1,500 people show up. My goodness. This guy brings the ratings. What can I say? Like Everybody's, I mean. Guys. Well, uh, all right, well, listen, I'm going to hop find off. Find this man okay? on the street. Chris, we're going to hop off. Max, you're, you're solo here. 1,800 people. You're basically on stage right now. Just full on, you know. It's all you. Stop. So. I Get get that out of here. Stop. All right. Next one. Gut bracket. So you're filling out the, the gut bracket here, okay? I always fill out. I do the first time around. I go just, okay, I'm going through it. I don't go to Ken Palm. I don't do anything. I just fill out everything oh, I all like the this. way through. Yep. Okay? I do that every year, okay? How many SEC? If you did that right now, all right? And, of course, we're not going to spend time everybody going through every single game. But how many, if you just do it real quick, how many SEC teams advance? to the second weekend of the NCAA tournament. I'll put the bracket up. Great call. Where'd the bracket go? Yes. I'll find it. Okay. Sorry, guys. So you're, you're talking Sweet 16. You're talking Sweet 16. Sweet 16. Okay. Give me Sweet 16. How many? Yep. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> Aaron down here. Do not predict Kentucky. Especially not Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Aaron, if, if, if Chris picks Kentucky to win the national championship... 
you guys can go ahead and take a vacation. Aaron, I, I've cursed you in lots more than that. Trust me. They're out against Oakland if that's the case. So, so there you go. Go one. All right, Sweet 16, guys. Number, how many SEC teams in the Sweet 16? A lot coming four. in the chat here. Three, four, five. Chris, you going four? Mm-hmm. Okay. My answer is my answer is four, but I love this conference, so I'm going five. Wow, I'm trying to figure out where you are getting those from. Uh, four, one. I know, but okay. Safe, safest bet to make the Sweet Sixteen. I have my answer. I think it's no, 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 no. I'm not answering that. I refuse. Yeah. Because <laughs> as soon as we say it, that team is going to lose in the first round. That's I, I'm not true. doing it. I refuse to say that. <laughs> Can you like um, sign language or something? That... Let's just say that there are colors on the screen right now that represent a certain team. Oh, that I may okay. say that about. Um, I'm going to go. You How many did you say, Max? Five? SEC no, Sweet 16? Four, four, four. Four. You both said four? All right. I'll go, I'll go three then. Okay. <laughs> you know, I always like to be the ultimate low man of the group. All right. Right now, gut bracket. You just, you advanced four teams in the SEC to the Sweet 16. How many make it to the final four? Four. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I knew you were going to say four. None. Before I even asked the question. Zero, Chris? Zero. Chris? I got one. I got one. And I'm not telling you who. I think I know. Well, you don't know because I'm not going to ever tell you. You could say you could list all eight teams, and I'm not going to do anything different. I got one team in the final. Well, four. I think the South could be very interesting because there's two, there's a couple of very interesting matchups in there where I could see that go breaking in the SEC's favor. In the South, you said. Yes, where you have three teams. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So we could potentially and, and, and keep it. Yeah. Keep in mind, I'm. I'm looking a little bit at A&M and Houston in round two. I think that's fascinating based on the the way it played out the first time and the way A&M is playing now. Guys, I'm telling you, I do not. If you put the odds on it right now, I think a Kentucky-Florida game in the Sweet 16 would be one of the higher odd potential plays you could have. But but then again, they hand logged an injury. I know, but like I don't, I just don't hate this for Florida. I really and that I'm not region to... is a complete wild card. I mean, a a complete and total wild card. I mean, here's what I'm looking at. If you look at, if you want to be a computer computers whiz, the two best chances of making the Final Four based on the computers would be Auburn and Tennessee. They both get opposite regions, and then you get the Auburn South. Got screwed on the draw. The, then you get to the South, where you have Kentucky, Florida, and Texas A&M. And then in the West, you've got the four with Alabama. Mississippi State's beating the brakes off North Carolina. At least one. I'm calling it. If, there's, if there was a prop bet, how many SEC teams to the Final Four, and you can pick one, whew, I'm taking that. We got, we got options in every region. I, I think you're right. I agree with that. Like that, you can see it breaking right for every SEC team to get one. Yeah, just I, one. I'm with you. Just one. Because, well, it's two. It's by seeding, right? Because you have multiple top tier seeds. You've got two four seeds. You've got yep. what? You've got a two seed. You've got a three seed. You know. So so yeah. I I think most years that that should be like the, if you have that many teams in the field and you have that many top tier, you've got probability you've got wise, a good you've got chance a decent of getting chance. one. Yeah. So. Okay, answer me this, guys. Am, am I do, being too pessimistic about Auburn's chances to beat UConn? Because what I'm scared of is UConn does a lot what Auburn can do, but it shoots the three ball better. And that's what's worried me about Auburn from the start. Well, yes, but the, we, we have said, and I know, look, there's going to be games where you don't shoot it that well, and it's the last two for Auburn, 6-19, and 19, but I don't – should we put a lot of stock into that? Because the games before, like, they were shooting the ball really well. But how many games in the NCAA tournament are you playing on back-to-back -back days, right? And so, I think there's a factor, too, in that. Like, you're going to get those They've tired three-point shots. big guards on the perimeter. Dutch Listen, Connecticut. Auburn would be a how-many-point underdog against UConn, Max? I don't think it's going to be low. And I'm not saying it's going to be 10, but... I'll tell you by looking at Ken Palm. Um... Mm -hmm. 
I don't think it would be that much. I mean, I'm not saying it's gonna be ten, but I think it would be six and a half. I, mean, I, would, like I was gonna say five, seven, something like that. Which I I'm saying it's not low, but I mean it's not a one possession game. So Ken Palm has got them separated by three and a half points per hundred possessions. Well, so that and and, and Connect, I get that Connecticut will get a a built in. It, it pushed by more than that by virtue of what happened last year. So I don't know. I know, I know that UConn can do some stuff to to bother Auburn. I mean, UConn's going to have a good matchup against anyone. They're the number one team in the country. Um, but look at the fours. You got Auburn, Duke, Kansas, Alabama. What one of those teams does UConn not want to see? Auburn. What can UConn do when Klingon goes out? They bring in Samson Johnson, who's been great. Okay. Say hello to Dylan Cardwell. <laughs> well, how, know, did, how did a top Dylan four Ken Palm team get a four seed? A top because ten team just Palm. won its conference tournament. But that didn't matter. I I know. I'm, I just I mean, answered I know, the two things. I know for how you. it happened. I'm just <laughs> filing a protest. I agree. I'm just the conference tournament didn't matter. And it's not all about the Ken Palm. And so I think that's uh, – but but that is – Max said this earlier. If you're just tuning in, Max said it. And, again, that's why there's 2,000 people watching right now is because we've had an extra 1,700 because of Max. He said earlier, it, we're all talking about how tough a draw this is for Auburn. But who out there is going to be talking about how tough a draw this is for UConn? <laughs> you know? Yeah. It, it's okay, insane. yeah. Okay, let's, let's, let's stay there. So, there's three top five Ken Palm teams in that region. Iowa State is number five. I mean, what in the world was the committee doing? You took the number one overall seed and you gave it the toughest region. That's what I'm. That's what. That's what I'm trying to get at. I'm trying to say. The more I look at this, this was just malpractice by the committee. <laughs> Chris is filing complaints. <laughs> it was Chris? Is Chris has just showed up. It's seven fifty nine. The place doesn't open until eight. He's there. He's got the papers in his hand. He's at the door. The lady's behind the little screen. And Chris is just standing there holding the papers like this. Like he's just saying, tick-tock. When that clock hits eight, that window comes up, formal complaint <laughs> being filed right here on this piece of paper. That's what Chris is doing. Well, you, you know how you have that thing where you something happens to you and you don't know how you feel and you sleep on it. You wake up, you know exactly how I feel. I didn't need to sleep on it. <laughs> I know exactly how I feel <laughs> now that we've we've had the bracket for for almost two hours. The more I look at this, this is just crazy. You know, we don't give guarantees out much. We do not guarantee much, but I'll guarantee you one thing. I will guarantee that Charles Barkley guarantee right here. One of the number one seeds, one of them not making it to the Sweet Sixteen, guarantee one of them's getting knocked. Guaranteed. All right. I'm going to build off of that. By the way, Evelyn's asking here, when we know the game times? We're trying to hold off until the game times come up. I'll get back on that. We'll we'll see how long it's going to be until then. Um, Remember, guys, if you want us to get your chat up there, 2,000 of you in here, we got a lot of chats. Leave us a super chat. That helps the channel, too. If you're enjoying this live stream, if you enjoy our SEC basketball coverage, all of our SEC coverage, everything, please, all you have to do is leave us a super chat. You can leave us one cent if you want to. That donates to the channel, allows us to do these live streams for you, do more videos. We'll have a video on every single game. We're talking about the games now. We will have eight videos at the very least ahead of these games. We're going to preview every single one of them, break them down in depth. Um, So we'll do that over the next couple of days. So do that. But um, that was going to lead me to my next question, Max. Okay, we're having fun here, right? And we know we're going to clip our answers if they're wrong. (laughs) <laughs> give me your stone cold lead pipe lock of the first round. Now you can't go 116. You can't go 215. You can, if you want to go score line. Okay. So if you want to say Tennessee is going to beat St. Peter's by 25, don't do it because Sam may, who knows what's going to happen to Sam if you say that, but give me a game that you got your attention on. Maybe you're going to say, all right, people are going to think it's an upset. I'm all in on this team. Stone cold lead pipe lock of the first round can involve an SEC team. Doesn't have to involve an SEC team. I got I'd it. Say you probably sh- should stay away from it because if we put a lock on somebody, yeah, 
it's not always a good thing. All right, Max, who's yours? That's too bad because I'm picking an SEC team. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mississippi be... State's putting Tom Izzo away. Mm. I love mm. that matchup. Miss, Michigan State has, hasn't been able to even find a starter at the center position. They, they, they don't even know who's going out there. And now you got one of the best front courts in the SEC. Josh Hubbard's the difference. Um, I'm getting a lot of San Diego State vibes from last year. Now, they're not, their defense is not as good as San Diego State's was last year. Um, but Josh Hubbard has taken this offense from 176th to 60th last year, over 100 points of uh, ranks of offensive efficiency. Mississippi State has improved this year. Um, Cam Matthews, DJ Jeffries, two of the best defenders I have ever seen. Everyone is – this is going to be a very public play for Michigan State too. Everyone's going to be saying the Izzo runs March and everything. Hey, not this time. This Mississippi State, this Mississippi State team is, is not messing around. Chris? What were the frame of God again. don't say Kentucky or Tennessee? <laughs> what what were the qualifiers on what I have to to pick here? Just just give me a give me a lock, but make it interesting. Don't don't go one like an underdog that's a lock. No, it just a, a game that you think people are already, you know, maybe going to go one way, but you're like, hey, why are people going that way? I think it's going to be this. I'm I'm super undecided on the game Max just picked. Well, then it's not that one. This, this, it's not that. I just wanted to throw that in there. Um, gosh, my, my, my upset I pick, I think, is is Sanford to beat Kansas. But but is that your stone cold lead pipe that's lock? Stone cold lock. Oh, no, if you want a stone cold left well, lead pipe lock, I'll give you. I'm telling you, you got to give me something to work with, because like, okay, I Connecticut did. to beat Stetson. That's my answer. No, but I said it couldn't be a one sixteen. Chris, you're not listening. You're not listening okay, to the qualifiers. You're too busy at the counter, knocking on the screen, trying to get the lady to file the formal complaint that you've issued about the Auburn Tigers and the committee's performance here. All we want is a lock-type performance from you, and that is pick a game that you would just – you don't have, we're not going to hold it to you. Well, why we're airing grievances, will, you're awful at but. setting this up. But anyway, that aside. <laughs> All right, ch um, chat, comment section right now. Who are you siding with? This will tell us where we stand. Are you siding with Chris? Are you siding with me? Let's just get this out of the way. Chris, pick Max a, a pick a six, eleven, seven, ten, eight, nine. Yeah, a lock give me one of those. those. Um, okay. Literally, give us anything at this point. I'm thinking about New Mexico. Clemson <laughs> is one. <laughs> Max, where is this? <laughs> this is okay. Small. We're moving on. All right. Okay. That's okay. You will come back. McNeese over Gonzaga. Sure. Why not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that sounded like a stone cold lead pipe lock there. Um, well, you still haven't told me what I'm supposed to to spit out here. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> um, I I'm gonna go Florida over the winner of Boise State or Colorado. I think like I wow. really. I know they just lost a guy, but it's the guard play, man. Like, I know they struggled today, but we can't just completely ignore what we saw from Florida minus today. Recency bias is a thing. I know they lost a key player. Max and I have already talked about it, right? Max will be back in a second. He dropped off. He was so excited about the Florida pick that he's disconnected. But <laughs> we said, I mean, this the guards for Florida, they got a great guard group, and – I just think that's something where I'm not saying there'll be easy matchups, but but I like I feel okay about the Gators right now in terms of their okay. Their, their th advantage. There is something. There are a couple things interesting on Florida, right? The, the hand logged an injury really I think hurts them. But you had Denzel Denzel Aberdeen getting pulled from mothballs yesterday and putting up a huge scoring game. Kugel didn't play the last two games. Kugel didn't play today. That was the next thing I was getting at. They do have some parts in reserve that you just don't, you know, that all of a sudden, Hey, you didn't, you didn't see this coming that, that could boost up and give them a little bit of a, of a boost. 
Okay. All right, we got a couple super chats we'll get to real quickly here. Guys, do you see? We have twenty two hundred people watching this. Oh thing my right gosh! I, I just keep realize. seeing this number go up, and I'm like, all right, we're gonna get off here, but no, we're not. You guys are you're here for the game. You're here for the love of the game, loving basketball. You're here for it. Arched. Stephen L, five dollar super chat. Appreciate what we do week to week. Go Cox. Well, we appreciate you, Stephen. Really do appreciate the five dollar super chat and your support here at Southeastern fourteen, and your support of Father Lamont Pierce. Um, all right, here's a great one. So, oh, how about this? Carol got the five dollar one here. Who will be the first number one seed to be beat and by whom? If correct, we'll do a twenty-five dollar super chat. Mother Carol, oh. mother, she's leaning into it. Mother Carol, all right. Hmm. I'm gonna double down. I'm doubling yeah. down. All right. I know where you are. North, North Carolina bounces. Bounces. I can't decide between that one or Houston. Cormac Ryan against DJ Jeffries. Yeah. 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 The problem with, with Houston is the South was a soft regional on the whole. I, I you, We played this thing a minute ago with Ken Palm, and you, you look at the East, you go down to the South, the best team after Houston isn't until 12. That's Marquette. And then the next one after that is Marquette at 17. Now, I don't like that potential second round matchup with Texas A&M for reasons I've told you guys, but I think on the whole, that's not the that's not the toughest region, although you got some potential chaos with Kentucky and Florida in the bottom half for reasons we all know. That one I think I'm is a, wide open. Go. I'm gonna go North Carolina. Yes. I think I'm with Max here. I mean, and not just because they're the fourth number one seed, but I do not love their – like, I don't love a Michigan State or Mississippi State. I don't love St. Mary's for them. I wouldn't love Alabama if Alabama's all of a sudden gotten hot at that point. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'll go North Carolina. I like that, Blake. That's a that's a good pick. <laughs> I'm surprised you like a pick that I agree with with you. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. We When's the last it. time Kelvin Sampson didn't make a Sweet 16? Oof. Nah. I don't know. <laughs> I so. loved that Houston team. I loved them until Tugler went down. I'm just that's got me that's got me scared to death for him. I feel like they're gonna have some game where Jawan Roberts gets in foul trouble and or, or or Francis and the front court gets thin and maybe Cryer has an off night from three or something. Just with, with the with the two injuries to Arsenal and Tugler, I I'm scared away from Houston. But if there's one thing Calvin Sampson does, it's it's proved people wrong. So it's true. By the way, guys, in the uh, chat here right now, I'm going to drop a link to our sub stack. If you want to check out some of the written stuff we're going to be doing during the tournament, you can find it here uh, at sub stack, se14.substack.com. You may have to copy and paste that into your browser, but throw your email in there. We'll send you uh, all of our written coverage throughout the tournament. So we've already been doing that for the SEC tournament. A lot of you guys enjoy it. So yeah, uh, do it there. So we hit another prop today. We had another prop three in a row. Yeah, hit the three three in a row on the props. Follow us on Twitter, as I said. Uh, you see him on the screen there at the Blake level, at Chris Lee 70 at Max Bar CVV. Follow the main account at 14 Southeastern. So, hey, if you filled out your bracket already, which I know some of you probably have, we all do a gut bracket, and I'm about to give you guys my gut bracket in a second. You're ready for it. I do it every year. But who's your national champion? Who's your final four? Who's your national champion? Let us know in the chat. Um, if you've already filled out a bracket and some of you probably have not even filled out a bracket and you're just going to go ahead and pick your favorite team to be in the champion chip. That's fine. You can do that. I like how everyone has their different ways of going about the bracket. Some people like to just quick, no research. Cause I'm going to overthink it, get it mm -hmm. done and out of the way. Some people are like, I'm not even f touching it until, until Wednesday. Well, I can't, I don't know how you do that. I'm the type that'll fill it out and then tinker and switch and switch and tinker and that 500 million times. I like how everyone's got their own thing though. You just, you guys just let me know when you're ready for my, my gut bracket. I will do it live here. I will just pull up the bracket and I'll make a pick for every game and crown a national champion, but. And then not we'll change it. Gut bracket. We don't change. I don't you're change the gut bracket. 
You're when we do an official video to fill out our bracket, I will have probably different choices. Okay. But gut bracket, I literally pull up the bracket and I just pick every single team. First thought that comes in my mind, I go with that. And that's the gut bracket. We got so, a few comments rolling in here. Whatever you see, Max, throw it up there. As long as we got good. first gut final four, UConn, Iowa State, Kentucky, Creighton. See, we I I, I like that Kentucky Creighton combination. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. So. That game would be incredible. That's a lot Kentucky like mine. Creighton game. And yeah. be like 500 threes in that game. Well, I, I was state and Connecticut in the same bracket. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we, Carol calling us out. Back for more. By whom? All right. UNC Max, who? North UNC Carolina Mississippi State? is getting bounced by Mississippi State. I watched I watched Duke lose to lose to North Carolina at home because Cormac Ryan had a career high. All right. The first game, Harrison Ingram had a career high. Harrison Ingram's gonna be guarded by Cam Matthews. Headband Cam Matthews, that is, raises his bully ball about 10%. This is a bad matchup for North Carolina. Harrison Ingram's gonna have Cam Matthews glued to him. Cormac Ryan, DJ Jeffries glued to him. Baycott, well, say hello to Tolu Smith and Jimmy Bell Jr. Give Mississippi State. If Mississippi State loses in the first round, I'm going to be devastated. Devastated. Michigan State, North Carolina fans are going to clip this into oblivion. Do it. Uh, I don't care. Good. Feed us more. So, I mean, look, you're not wrong. Kentucky just lost their game. But as we – I mean, I guess we could theoretically say SEC tournament ultimately meant nothing. So, um, don't tell Auburn that. Didn't mean anything. To, it, it meant a lot to the Auburn Tigers. So, yeah. Creighton's an interesting team. I, I like that that choice in that Midwest. But that Baylor Shireman, man, Baylor Shireman can shoot the lights out. Mm-hmm. Lights. All right, you ready for the gut bracket? Give me the Is gut bracket. Time? All right, here bracket. we go. Okay, Max, you'll have to hold me to some of these. All right, because I may remember, I may forget the next time I go through. But here we go. Here we go. Right. This is the most exciting time of the year. <sighs> okay. If I wind up with four SEC teams in the Final Four, you guys are going to just laugh hysterically. But it's all about the gut bracket, okay? Yep. Your first instinct is always the right one. Don't follow that advice on everything, folks. Um, here we go. East, UConn, FAU, UAB, Auburn, BYU, Illinois, Washington State, Iowa State, West, or do you want me to just go region by region, Max? Or you, yeah, yeah go region by region. Okay. All right. UConn, Auburn, you, Illinois, <laughs> Iowa State. Yeah, give me the powerhouses. Give Chalk. me the powerhouses in the East. Because I know who I'm speaking to here. Give me the Auburn Tigers. Of course. Give me Illinois. Auburn and Illinois in oh. the East. In the gut bracket, put War Damn Eagle in the final four. Give me the Auburn Tigers Get in the in final there. four in the gut bracket. To the west we go. North Carolina, Mississippi State, St. Mary's. Oh. Alabama. <laughs> New Mexico. Baylor. Nevada. Arizona. Give me North Carolina. Give me, <laughs> yay, 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 yay. Give me Alabama. Give me Ooh. Baylor. Give me Arizona. I know I said North Carolina was going to be the first team, <laughs> but I'm not eliminating them. <laughs> oh, man. Give me North Carolina. Give me, boy, I'm completely going to contradict myself, but that's what the, the, the gut bracket's all about. Give me Arizona. I will. T- <laughs> oh no! Are now I'm screwed. That? I'm screwed now. <laughs> <laughs> Give me North Carolina. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Give me North Carolina in the final four. All right. Uh, Say it with confidence. The- <laughs> this is the gut bracket. Remember, let's go to the south. Houston. Oh, Nebraska, <laughs> James Madison, Duke, Texas Tech, K 
Kentucky, Madison, okay. Florida, Marquette. Give me Houston, James Madison, Texas. Ooh. No, wait, Kentucky. Marquette. <laughs> Give me Houston over James Madison. Give me Kentucky over Marquette. Houston over James Madison. Okay. Give me Houston in the Final Four. Oh. Sorry, Kentucky fans. All right, to the it. Midwest. Give me Purdue. Give me Yo TCU. Give me McNeese. <laughs> What was I'm that? going full full <laughs> chaos in the Midwest. The Blue Bloods. McNeese, <laughs> give me uh, Samford. <laughs> give me South Carolina and Father Lamont. Give me Creighton. Give me Texas. Give me Tennessee. Give me Purdue over whoever the hell I've got up there. Um, <laughs> I don't remember. Just give me Purdue in the Sweet 16. Give me McNeese over Samford. Creighton over South Carolina, Tennessee over Texas, Purdue over McNeese, Creighton over Tennessee. Go with the gut. Yeah. Creighton over Purdue. All right, final four. Auburn, North Carolina, Houston, Creighton. Give me. I just said North Carolina is going to be the first number one seed, oh, and I'm about oh, to put them in the national championship. Give me the Auburn Tigers. And wow. Give me... Shot clock. Five. Crazy. Four. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Auburn how did Creighton? I get myself here? How did I get to an Auburn Creighton National Championship? This is what the gut bracket does to you. It takes your guts and it just pulls you right. It pulls them out. Now you know I got a big decision to make here. Do we crown Bruce Pearl's Auburn Tigers the national champion, or do we pick the Creighton Blue Jays to win the whole thing? I have never filled out a gut bracket like this before. <laughs> <laughs> you dug yourself a hole. Guess I thought what? you were going to put North Carolina there. Let me tell you earlier. something right now. I said earlier a key phrase. Recency bias matters. And we sat in Nashville this week. Max and yeah. I are sitting 10 feet from the floor. We're watching everything that's going down there. Okay? So am I going to get a little recency bias here? You bet. This isn't a Big East channel. This is an SEC channel. Gut bracket. Put them in there. Give me the deepest team in the country, the Auburn Tigers, to cut down the nets. Did we just put the Southeastern 14 kiss of death on them? We did not because this is the gut bracket. It doesn't matter, but all in. There you go. Wow. If it's not Auburn, give me UConn <laughs> to win the whole thing. You can't do that. Yes, that's the replacement. If it's yes, not Auburn, that, that replace UConn with everybody. Replace UConn the whole criminal. way and give me UConn to win the whole thing. All right, so there you go. I did this for Donovan. I did this for everybody else in the chat. That was incredible. Hit, hit the like button if you like the Auburn winning the, the Gut National Championship. Alabama fans are going to have some fun with this one. So there you go. That was good. That was we good. have fun here. So there Judge you go. Judge Judy, we going to do what? a gut bracket or just the final four? I'll do a gut. Okay. Not very oh. excited about oh, it. Oh, this is the, this is great. Like this is this is what people sign up for right here. No, all doubt. right, fine. So, are we, are we going uh, to do a chaos bracket? By the way, I think we have. To yes, do a chaos but bracket. but we're not doing that here. Actually, okay. actually, we will. We will do a chaos bracket. Yeah. How about that? We'll do that live. So, mm. I'm just letting you know. I'm gonna. Ch I'm gonna. I'm a. I'm a tinker guy. I love to tinker and change everything. It's just, I can't do it without it but i will run down okay all right you yukon fau san diego state auburn byu i'm gonna go moorhead i'm feeling a little moorhead action hmm. go, i'll wow. go moorhead and i'll go drake 
and then Iowa State. I'll go UConn, Auburn, BYU, Iowa State, Auburn, BYU. Ooh. Because I just watched Iowa State against BYU, and I think I think BYU missed like 15 wide open threes. Like we could have made them how open they were. I'm going to go Auburn, BYU, and I'm going to go <sighs> going Auburn. <laughs> Going Auburn in the this Final Four. Tremendous. Oh, no. This is tremendous. Uh, this is just tremendous. North Carolina, content. Mississippi State, Grand Canyon, Ooh. Alabama, New Mexico, Baylor, Nevada. I'll be honest. I haven't watched Nevada or Dayton this year. Arizona. Okay. Mississippi State. Alabama, Baylor, go Nevada. Ooh. Oh, do I have Mississippi State against Bama? Oh, what did I do? Oh. Bama. And then who do I have? Baylor against Nevada? What did I do here? <laughs> uh, you, you twist yourself into circles in this what? thing because all right i guess i got baylor against alabama which would be a fantastic game um and i'll go ah uh, i'll go baylor no ah fine <laughs> <laughs> i'll go houston i'll go a&m Manuel Basket, please. James Madison. Oh, my God. James Madison. Vermont. Ooh, Vermont. Texas Tech. Kentucky. Florida. Marquette. Houston. James Madison. Kentucky. Florida. Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Houston. Kentucky. And I'm having Kentucky winning that. So what do I got right now? I got Auburn, Baylor, and Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Okay. Purdue. Uh, this is this is brutal, by the way, Blake. <laughs> it's it's awful. Like once yeah. you get into it, you realize you're like you realize Wait a you're, there's just oh. <laughs> okay, Purdue, TCU, McNeese. I'll go Kansas. It's still Bill Self. South Carolina, I'm not doubting him. Creighton, Texas, Tennessee. Why does this look so stressful? It is. It is. Are you kidding me, Zach? Are you kidding the me most right stressful now? thing we've done all year. Um, I'll go Purdue, Kansas, still Bill Self. I'll go South Carolina. Oh, look at this. I'll go this is South where the Carolina. Gut takes over. This is where it starts to. Then Tennessee. Um, I'll go. I'll go Purdue against Tennessee. A rematch of the non-conference. Where J.P. Estrella, Cade Phillips were called upon. Toby Awaka wasn't fully healthy. Zeegs was just coming back. Tennessee. Makes it the final four, and I get my three SEC teams I knew. in the final four. <laughs> I was we got over Auburn, two, so. Baylor, Kentucky, oh, well, and Tennessee. Max, and you don't realize league. what you've just done. You're about to do an all SEC national championship, and you got to pick one. That's the problem. We're going to cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> 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 we're going, we're going Auburn. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it does to you, man. You We're going Auburn. <laughs> Kentucky. Oh. 
Oh, my stomach is oh just turning right now. <laughs> Look at Max a bucket. Jeez, the wheeze. And somehow, some way, Kentucky's your national champ. Oh, oh. you you don't. So where's a do bucket? That. Where's a That's bucket? All I know. Wow. Oh. oh. <laughs> Wow. I feel horrible after that. <laughs> I feel terrible. Oh. <laughs> I'm never doing that again. That was awful. Like it oh. is just an excruciating process. <laughs> oh. Chris, right. you're not you're not doing this. I have you? to do this too. Yeah. Oh. All right. <laughs> Kinetic. Everyone, is, everyone has turned on Max I hate in my the chat. Too. That was gross. <laughs> Just turn. Northwestern, oh. San Diego State, Auburn, BYU, Illinois, Drake, <laughs> Iowa State, Connecticut over Northwestern, uh, Auburn over San Diego State. B Illinois over BYU and Iowa State over Drake. So that leaves us. All right. You're welcome, Auburn. I'm not going to do this to you. I'm taking Connecticut to beat Auburn. Oh. Taking Iowa State out of the bottom half, to going UConn in the final four. All right. These, what's it? We on the South. North Carolina to beat Howard Wagner. <laughs> um, I'm conscience. going Michigan State over Mississippi State. I'm going to St. Mary's. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Sorry, Charleston. <laughs> Chris, what are you doing here, man? <laughs> He's getting all the SEC teams out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. awesome. New Mexico, Baylor, <laughs> Nevada, Arizona, Michigan State to the 16, St. Mary's. Baylor and Arizona. Donovan's losing it. Baylor to beat St. Mary's. <laughs> oh. All right. South Houston. I'm going A and M. I can't read this. Is that Wisconsin with James Madison? Yeah. <laughs> I'll go James Madison. Yes, very nice, very nice. Yeah, uh, Vermont over Duke. Duke. That'll that'll play well with the channel. Um, <laughs> Texas Tech, Kentucky, Florida Marquette. <laughs> <laughs> Max will uh, have no SEC not, bias whatsoever. Not so fast, Todd. <laughs> A&M to the 16 to beat Houston. Surely you didn't see that one coming. Um, well, boy, I'm choosing between James Madison and Vermont. Give me Vermont to the 16. Wow. <laughs> John America Becker. East. John Becker. I like John Becker. Oh, God. I'm going to have to do it. Kentucky. And... Man, I want to go Florida, but the injury, I'm not. Marquette. Mm. Oh, my God. What have we got here? We got <laughs> Kentucky. No, I'm sorry. We've got we've got a and in Vermont <laughs> to go to the Sweet is that 16. Really what you have? Is, this, is this what we oh just did? Oh, my gosh. You do have a and in Vermont. I do. <laughs> oh, <look laughs> no. A&M to the Elite Eight. I, I did not see this one coming. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh. We're this just is incredible. Screw the this is the best this. thing we've ever done, and also simultaneously the worst thing we've ever done. Um, who have oh. I got? Okay, I've got Kentucky and Marquette. Why not? Give me Kentucky. Oh no, <laughs> you know what I've just done? <laughs> yes, I do. You've got Kentucky in it. In a rematch. Oh well, you know you got to pick in that one. And I'm and I'm going Kentucky because I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all oh right, Lord. This is <laughs> God help Kentucky after that. 
Um, oh, no. Okay. Purdue. Hold on real quickly, Chris, before you continue. There are people joining in right now who think this is our actual bracket. This is the gut bracket, okay? This is not our actual bracket. Please know that. We are not filling out our brackets yet. This is the gut bracket. Gut the annual, bracket. traditional gut bracket. Please continue, Chris. Gut Please, bracket. We're going to get kicked in the gut over this later. Okay. Um, <laughs> Purdue, Utah State, McNeese, Samford. <laughs> Doubles up. Chris, I cannot stick against stuff. Father Lamont, so I will not. Creighton. Oh, God. Um, boy, this puts me in a spot. I'm taking Virginia to beat Texas after beating oh. Colorado State, which is going to leave Virginia in a matchup with Tennessee. We'll get to that later. Uh, Purdue, McNeese. Purdue, McNeese. <laughs> the funny thing is, is that that could happen. Creighton and, oh, you do not want Virginia – in that game, Tennessee, but I'm going to pick you anyway because I've been doing it all year. Barry's, so that Barry's leaves barking. us with... It's got to mean something. Purdue coming out of the top to the eight, and I'm taking Creighton, and I'm taking Creighton to beat Purdue. Oh. So I've got a Final Four, Connecticut and Baylor, which I will take UConn, and I've got Kentucky and Creighton. I'll take Creighton. Give me UConn. Wow, you two both have Creighton in your gut championship? Hey, hey, it's the gut. Our gut, gut seems to love Blue Jays for whatever reason. Man. Well, <laughs> you have it. Wow. I'm never doing that again. I'm doing it again next year. <laughs> oh, we're doing chaos. <laughs> All right, so we... We got guys. We have twenty seven hundred people watching, and if you think about this, this is the brand we're presenting: is our gut bracket, where we all just picked like multiple SEC teams with no Final research Four. other than what we already know. Max had an all SEC championship. I had Auburn winning the whole thing. Max has Kentucky winning the whole thing. Who'd you pick, Chris? Connecticut. Connecticut. That's right. Um, Chris, the more reasonable, perhaps, but we don't we don't care about reason here. Um, so, all right. So let's do a quick reset. We will fill out our normal brackets here on the channel in a separate video coming up soon. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. We will have every SEC game covered in the NCAA tournament. Uh, we will make our preview predictions for every game. So we reserve the right to change our picks by the time we get to the previews, as always. And, uh, yeah, we'll have a lot of fun stuff coming up. Just join the It Just Means More tier, $3.99 here at Southeastern 14 that donates to the channel, lets us make more of these live streams where we stay on for two and a half hours, picking SEC teams to win national championships and all that kind of stuff. We're usually not this biased, but, you know, maybe a little biased. Um, but as Christian says, noted Barner, me, um, <laughs> picking Auburn. Christian, noted Alabama fan um, and uh, host of the great Alabama Crimson Crossover. You're welcome for that cheap plug. Um, yeah. So, again, guys, we, we appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, so I have a quick <laughs> question. I have a quick, quick bracket question for you guys. Cause it usually happens. It pretty much happens every year. Five yeah. seed or lower. So, or so like five, six, seven, whatever make to make the final four, who would be your, who would be your top pick? Cause it, you're going to get, you're going to get a run from someone. Five seed or lower. Yeah. Five or five or lower to make the final four. It's going to happen. Someone's going to do it. Um, Tell me in the comments, too. I want to know people's... You, you mean to give you mine just off the top of my head? like Yeah, just... Uh, without really having much thought on this, like... Last year, there was multiple. No. I, don't, I think that one's a little tricky. I don't think it's crazy to say that Nebraska or A and M, if they get mm. by Houston, because yeah. I said I think that thing is wide open. I think the South is open, but but we may be yes. saying that under underselling Houston. But mm. 
that's why I said I think Kentucky has a good path is because I think there's multiple upset opportunities there. I don't know if Florida's that team, but if to me, Florida had yeah. Penn Lopton. Yes, I was thinking that just the same scares thing. Me now. Yeah, that scares me. The other one I was going to say five seed or lower. You already know my answer. Who? Mississippi you know, State? Those Bulldogs that oh, yeah. played down in Starkville, baby. Set that up. I forgot about that. I'm not going to say this team because so Alabama fans will think I'm really against them, but I I'm love not. That team. Uh, I mean, Chris, A&M, like, I don't think that's a terrible choice. But, but because but shooting of worries the living. Well, just, I, I know it worries the living daylights out of me too. But again, I, I go back to this. Nebraska has not played well away from home. A&M's guards have been on fire. They are old. They have been in this spot. And again, remember what happened the first time they played Houston without Radford. This is, look, you never know what you're going to pick till you get the bracket in front of you, which is why we're just sitting here with these bewildered looks saying, I cannot believe I just took this team to get to this place. But that's, you You, you take what the bracket presents you. Do you mean to just tell you who my first gut pick was going to be? Yeah. <laughs> of course, we had a lot of. St. Mary's was going to be one I was going to say. Mm, that was mine. Absolutely doubt them against Grand Canyon. If you get chaos with Alabama Charleston, either way, I think St. Mary's is the kind of team that t I don't know why. That was the first instinct I had. Because of and tempo, Blake. This is an offensive <sighs> error, and they can slow you down and get you out of your game. Yeah. I know Good Chris luck to offensive me, rebounding but. on Saxon. Saxon's a beast down there, too. That was my first thought, but I don't know. Like I said, that, Wait, that I think south you're onto is... something with that with that south region. I think that thing's going to be a mess. You've got the one and the two seed are both injury ridden, um, and then you've got you've got a lot of quality quality mid majors. Vermont has been a the, has ran the America East since as long as I've been alive, and James Madison has that FAU record from last year. The, the thirty-one and three type of type of year. Uh, I think that South is just going to be a mess. But then, of course, Houston can just put the clamps on everyone and and do what they normally do. And we overthought it. I, I, that's that's my fear. Is that yeah. when I look at Houston's body of work, <laughs> it, it is tremendous. And that's why I think some, we may be underselling Houston here. They've lost to Iowa yeah. State twice. Yeah. They lost a TCU on the road by a point, and they lost at Kansas. Think about that. Yeah, At Kansas, no shame. Iowa State, two seed. At TCU by a point, just a game that happens in the course of a 34-game season. So maybe we are overthinking this. And ultimately, we make our bracket picks. We may, I may just advance Houston on to the national championship and be okay with it. Oh, so, Zach just said that Thursday times are out. I'm gonna... All right, let's get the Thursday times going here. Then we'll, before we wrap up, guys, before we wrap up tonight, we will fit, we will do the chaos bracket. Have no fear. Even though I'm pretty sure we've already all three done chaos brackets, maybe Max and I more so. Yeah, but that was my chaos. Let's let's find the times and um, find it. And yeah, we'll pull those up for everyone. So let's see if it's set here. Uh, Zach, where'd you find it? If you can, I'm I'm having trouble. Yeah, guys, give us a give us a little help if the game times are out. I figure they usually come out around seven ish central, but maybe maybe not. So, although it's a great a point, nine thirty tip. Where are you guys seeing this stuff? Oh my goodness, yeah. Chris, where, where are you seeing this? <laughs> I'm looking at our comments. I'm just presuming our oh. commenters are accurate. All right, hold on. We're going to stall. By the way, while we're stalling, I'm just going to plug everything again. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Here's what we do know. If, Tuesday, if you have a link to TV Times, throw it here. in the chat, please. That'll Chris, save us some time. I've okay. got you all set. Everyone's ready to go. Max, write this down. Do whatever you got to do. I'm giving you your game times right here, right now. Are you Hit ready? Me with them. Hit me with them. Here we go. So, these are not in order. <laughs> so, why this is the case, I have no idea. So, don't blame me because I'm not going to try to go through and order them. I'm just going to give you times. North Carolina versus TBD, Thursday, 
Uh, okay, so let's move on. SEC. St. Peter's in Tennessee. TNT, 8.20 p.m. Thursday night. Prime time Woo! for the Tennessee Volunteers. Now, these are all on ESPN. If these are wrong, don't blame us. Blame ESPN. Um, there you go. Did all you right. give a time Can zone? Um, I have no idea, did I? I assume it's Central. Well, if you said it's 8.30 and someone's saying it's 9.30, then I would presume you're you're looking at Central. There we go. Kentucky, yes. I, now I can tell you for sure this is Central because I knew they'd put Kentucky in the spot. They usually do. Kentucky, 6.10 p.m. on CBS on Thursday. They are playing Oakland, as we know. South Carolina, 3 p.m. TNT Thursday against Oregon. Mississippi State, ooh. 11.15 a.m. Central Time Thursday on CBS. So they are going to be one of your – they're going to be your opening Let's slot go. games here. Let's go. Um, Let's go. Yeah. All right, so that's Thursday. Friday. We have nothing yet. So there you go. Thursday game times are out. Max, if you can, or Chris, you want to take the floor here for a second. Let me do something real quick. That will be important. Okay. okay so if I wrote these down correct, we've got Mississippi State at 11, 10, opening it up. Then South Carolina at 3, Kentucky at 6, 10, Tennessee at 8, 30. Is that what you, Chris? That's correct. That's correct. So Those we did it. all Thursday. We get an SEC game on on, uh, on each every each window. Plate. Yes, yeah. perfect. Good, yeah, that's right. awesome. Thank God. Last year it was all jumbled together. Oh, I uh, love Max, that. can you read those to me one more time, real quick? Yeah, we got Mississippi State at eleven ten. These are all central. Okay. Uh, three o'clock for South Carolina. Okay. Six ten for Kentucky. And then okay. Tennessee has the night game at at eight thirty. Oh, that is beautiful! Gosh, what a beautiful schedule that is. That's just All perfect. Right. Okay. Eight. What would you say? Eight thirty or eight twenty? Thirty. I think I might be what off by a little I bit. I think it was eight twenty. Okay. Yeah, nice. I'm, sorry, this is. I'm just doing this for Twitter. All right. Eight twenty. All right. There you go. Okay. Man, Mississippi State to open up. I'm going to be in a – oh, baby. I'm going to be in a blender for that one. Oh, baby. Yeah. All right, so that means Friday we've got Auburn. We've got <clears throat> Florida, Texas A&M, and yep. – Alabama. And Alabama. And they don't have so the we get four and four. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Who's in Who's in Charlotte? Where? That's where I'm going to be. Uh, Mississippi State, Michigan State. Mississippi State's uh, in Charlotte. Yes, Texas, mm -hmm. and to be determined. <laughs> and t Tennessee, St. Peter's, as and also North Carolina, and to be determined. A and M is six fifty Eastern on Friday. Do we have the Friday times out? ESPN doesn't. So unless somebody, I'm sure someone has it on Twitter. So, oh, you guys can let me know who who has those, and we'll find them. But to reveal to the audience, okay, yeah, Matt Jones put them out. So here we go. Friday game times. Max, are you ready? I uh, will hold on. Yep, yep. <laughs> Max, <laughs> Friday. Texas A and M six fifty Eastern. Hold okay. on a second. Let's hold on a second. I think we may have a, an issue here. Matt G, I do need a break, but that that'll come <laughs> in a week or two. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh Lord, there's a lot going Michael, on. Michael, you're an hour from Charlotte. If you're going to the if you're going to the first round, I'll be there. I'm going to uh I'm going to the Thursday and the Saturday Charlotte um sessions. All right, Max, are you ready? Yes. Friday. Um, Auburn versus Yale, three fifteen Central. TNT. Woo. You got Texas A&M, right? Five something, 30? Five, what did I say? 550. 550? Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Alabama versus Charleston, 635 Central. 
Ooh, so we'll have A&M and Alabama playing at the same time? I believe that's correct. It was 6 what? And then, uh, 6.35. 6.35, got it. Yeah. And then who are we missing? Um, Florida. Florida. Four thir- or 3.30 Central, TBS. Okay, so we'll have Auburn and Florida play it at the same times, and then A&M and Alabama will be at the same times too. I mean, they might be a little bit different, but they'll overlap. Okay. All right. All right, Max, read those in order. We've got boy. Auburn first at 315, then Florida 15 minutes after at 330, then – Texas A&M at 550, and then Alabama at 635. Okay. So Alabama and A&M won't overlap as much, but they still will. Gotcha. All right. You guys discuss for a second, and then we'll wrap up with the chaos bracket. So Max, your game of the tournament leads us off. I know. I know, and I didn't know I was going to be, be there, there either. I had, I had, I had no clue that you're going to be able to hear me on the broadcast. Let's just say that you'll be able to hear me. Okay. <laughs> unlike, unlike uh, last week, you you are allowed to yell at these. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we should tell that. We should tell that story. <laughs> yeah. So now, Max's first time on press row, <laughs> and we uh, forgot to explain some of the rules. <laughs> yeah, first first time ever on the in the media row, and I had Janai Broom to hit one three, and he, he missed he missed two, and I'm all down in the dumps, and I I don't think it's gonna happen, and then he he hits one with a guy right in his face, and I start going nuts. I'm like I'm celebrating and everything, and Chris is like, Hey Max, you know you're you're not supposed to celebrate here. I'm like. <laughs> It would have been nice to know that before we before we got in here. I've done um, I've done these so long as a credentialed media guy, I just take it for granted. Um I'm I'm going nuts and I'll probably all, all these people are probably looking at me. I'm sorry I had Janai Broom to hit one three pointer. <laughs> Max got a lot of TV time last week. A I mean, honestly time. though, looking back, it was it was an experience like I could never imagine. I mean, we had we had uh, Chris and I are sitting there uh, two nights ago. It just it's the night game. It was uh, it was Texas A and M, Florida, I think, right? And we're sitting there, and the Auburn assistant coaches come sit right next to us, right, literally right next to me. I'm just talking to the to the Auburn coaches, starstruck. Um, yeah, it was it was an awesome experience. I, I I already can't wait to go back next year. Um, I'm gonna have to exit for a minute to get a charger. Because I'm going to lose my battery on my camera here. So it happens. I'll be right. It just means more. Carry on. Carry on. All right. So here's what we're going to do. As soon as Chris gets back, I will do the chaos bracket, and then we'll wrap up since we're going on the three hour <laughs> right. broadcast here. But I don't know right here. <laughs> hey, it's not. We're all in, man. Who cares? We're all in. Um, how, Matt asked, "How did the chaos bracket match up in the SEC tournament?" Um, Auburn won. They were the chaos yeah. bracket pick, and they won the thing. We had three of the semifinalists in the chaos bracket. Auburn, A&M, Texas, or Mississippi State. Alabama was the only team that let us down in the chaos bracket. Chaos bracket did better than anybody else's bracket. The chaos bracket so, was the best bracket. Easily. By <clears throat> so, far. By far. So, yeah. Um, all right, Max, let me put this up real quick, and then yeah, we'll be good to go. If anything else we want to ask of people, we can do that. 2,700 people watching right now. There's like 2,000 on Twitter. <laughs> Brett's Whatever. calling me out. This is ridiculous. For, oh, my Diet Dr. Pepper refills. <laughs> I haven't had I haven't had a liquid in three and a half hours, two and a half hours now. I'm dehydrated. But guess what? Dehydration, it's March, baby. Comes with the territory. See, the thing is, is I needed, I needed caffeine because we've been waking up it's been late nights early mornings and i don't always want to drink coffee and they they only have one diet soda and i don't want to be consuming two thousand calories of soda every day so it's just been diet dr pepper has been my water for the past week (laughs) fuel fuel all right 
I'm I'm pulling up the bracket again because I'm just I'm thinking about this chaos, and I'm Pull thinking this is gonna win out. I'm ready. So we will end with this, and then again, guys, we will be locked in here at Southeastern 14 over the next several days. This is gonna be fantastic. So <clears throat> when Chris comes back, we will go full chaos bracket on the screen, and I will pick, and we will. If you missed it earlier, we picked our gut bracket national champions. I picked Auburn, <laughs> Max picked Kentucky, Chris picked UConn, which, come on, please. You just please. trap yourselves, back you yourself just, into a corner. We we trapped ourselves with our gut bracket, but <clears throat> that's okay. And let us know, how many of you guys are going to these games? If you're going to the games, let us know in the chat. Are you yeah. packing up? You headed to your destination of choice, wherever your team's playing? Um, if anyone's going to the Charlotte games, I'll be there at both. Come know. say hi. You go into Spoke- yeah. Talk about bets. You go into Spokane. You go into Pittsburgh. Where else we got SEC teams? Um, I don't remember. Right. So, anyways, all right, Chris, are you charged? He can't even hear us. He can't hear it. He can't hear anything we're saying. Well, speaking of that, since Chris can't hear what we're what saying, this? listen, this Chris guy. Are you pulling up the bra- the bracket again, Blake? Yeah, we're ready. Christian, if you're going to uh, if you're going to Charlotte, let reach out to me on Twitter or something and we can hang out there. You, you all right, want, what do we got, Blake? You, you don't want to talk to Christian. Um, all right, <laughs> here we go. Gut bracket or no? Sorry, geez, we're chaos hours, bracket. So I don't, chaos. I don't know what we're doing anymore. Chaos. <laughs> My goodness, the chaos started hours ago. Uh, all right. Are you ready for the chaos bracket? Because remember, as we just said, the chaos bracket won the tournament last time. People were retweeting our chaos bracket because it was the talk of the SEC tournament. Auburn, a and Mississippi State all advanced in the semifinals. Here we go. It's time. Are okay, we going to do consensus chaos? Is that how we're doing this? We're going to do my gonna chaos bracket and, chaos. and that's okay. it. All right. I'm letting Blake, Blake's, Blake's the chaos guy. I'm Mr. Chaos here. Yeah. All right. Before I do it, again, another cheap plug, because we're three hours into this. We're going to give you like eight commercial breaks. Um, we got to pay the bills here. <laughs> Follow us on Twitter, at the Blake Level, at Chris Lee 70 at MaxBarCBB, at 14 Southeastern. Plug it into the Twitter. Follow us on there if you're not already. If you're just joining us, you've missed two hours and 57 minutes of pure insanity. <laughs> um, and... Follow us on all of our other streams real quickly before we get this is, you know, again, because you guys are going to hop off after the chaos bracket. So I got to plug all our stuff real quick to make sure we get the most out of our 2,800 people watching right now. So that's crazy, by the way. Crazy. How, I, Max, I told Max the number earlier. I said, Max, we'll probably have about 800 to 1,000 people watching. We yeah. got 2,800 watching right now. So unbelievable. I guess word has gotten out that we SEC homers have made our gut bracket picks. <laughs> There's the link to the Instagram. You can follow us there. Um, like I said, check out the sub stack. We linked that earlier too. Okay. This is my masterpiece. The chaos bracket is how we wrap up our NCAA tournament selection show watch party. Go out with a bang. Go out with a bang here. Here we go. Chaos bracket. UConn. FAU. San Diego State. <laughs> Sounds a little bit like last year. Oh, oh. Auburn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> BYU. Moorhead State. Drake. Iowa State. Sorry. Yukon. <laughs> Auburn. It's the chaos bracket. Doesn't mean everything is just completely mm-hmm. nuts. Just keep mm-hmm. that in mind. BYU over Moorhead State. Iowa State advances. <laughs> UConn <laughs> over Auburn in the chaos bracket. Give me BYU. Yes. UConn BYU. Do we want to go region by region and like give each the other guys a turn? I'm not I mean, doing one. I'm letting Blake go let, out with. Let bang. me okay. just. I'll run through this and we'll we'll get it done quick. So, okay. All right. UConn in the championship, and you'll see why I'm setting it up this way in a second. 
All right. UConn advances out of the East. So there's not a lot of chaos, right? Except for BYU getting there. Now it's time to get nuts. Because in the West, North Carolina, Mississippi State, Grand Canyon, Charleston, New Mexico, Baylor, Nevada, Arizona, Mississippi State, Charleston. <laughs> Incredible. Let's go. New Mexico, Arizona, Mississippi State. Yes. <laughs> New Mexico. Mississippi State to the Final Four in the chaos bracket in the West. All right. To the South. Houston. Texas A&M. James Madison. Yes! (laughs) Vermont. Texas Tech. Kentucky. Florida, Marquette. Texas A&M. James Madison. Kentucky, Florida. Ooh. <laughs> so now what do we got in the south here? Oh, we no. got A&M to the Elite Eight. We got Florida to the Elite Eight. The rematch of the SEC semifinal. The Florida Gators to the Final Four. They rally behind Micah. <clears throat> Never kiss again. Midwest. Game. Purdue. Utah State. McNeese. Oh, I know exactly where I'm going yeah. with this bracket. Oh, Kansas. Yeah. South Carolina. Akron. <laughs> Colorado State, Tennessee, Purdue, McNeese, South Carolina. (laughs) Do it. Do it. Tennessee. Who have I got left? Purdue and McNeese. And who else? (laughs) Tennessee, South Carolina. Yeah. McNeese. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> McNeese. <laughs> if if people are just joining in the last minute or two, I think we owe folks an explanation. This is the chaos bracket, folks. Chaos. This is the chaos. This is where bracket. we have fun. All right. Which was more accurate than our actual brackets in the yes. conference <laughs> tournament, just for the record. All right. The Gamecocks to the Elite Eight. So, we've got, who do I have in the final? (laughs) Yukon, Mississippi State, Florida, (laughs) and McNeese in the final four, baby. The number 12, all the way, Will Wade to the final four. Yukon versus Mississippi State. (laughs) Mississippi State. This is is incredible. The Richard Williams. Give me Yukon. In the national championship, the Yukon Huskies. Now, how chaotic, you may ask. Listen, the whole thing doesn't have to be chaotic. Yukon to the title game. The question is, does Yukon play the Florida Gators or the McNeese? Aren't they like a... What the hell are they? Cowboy or something? They're, they're mascots. Of the Cowboys. Riding, they're, they're the, the Cowboys. Cowboys. Are they Cowboys? They're the Cowboys is what they, they are. are. That's right. Give me the Florida Gators okay. in the national championship. Holy recency smokes. bias is a thing. And I will tell you guys, many Wait years ago, Micah. I was playing PlayStation. I took charge of a team in season mode in one of the NCAA March Madness video games. And that team I took charge of was the Florida Gators, and my team battled throughout the season. We were a great team. We lost some games we shouldn't have lost. But when we got to the national championship, you know who we played? We played the Yukon Huskies. Oh, my And we ran into what I like to call a brick wall 
with the Huskies. But you know what happened? You want to know what happened in that game? It went to the buzzer. And you know who won the national championship for my team, the Florida Gators, that year? Anthony Roberson at the buzzer oh my. with a three-point <laughs> shot to defeat UConn by a single point. So, therefore, the chaos bracket. <laughs> Give me I the Gators. Was Lee Humphrey. To win I would the have chaos trusted bracket. That shot more than Anthony Roberson. The Florida Gators. Chomp it up. <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm going to give you my chaos, and then I'm probably better leave because my family has been gone all week, and, buddy, it's going to be chaos if I don't <laughs> get some quality time with the family. So here we go. This is where we make order of chaos. There are reasons for the chaos here. All right, Connecticut and Stetson. That not, not that much chaos, Connecticut. Florida Atlantic and Nevada. I feel like we need Dusty you May to secretly having, have taken another job. Oh, Northwestern, excuse me. That's NW instead of NV. Pardon me. Uh, doesn't matter. Dusty May is winning, even if he is headed out the door. San Diego State and Utah, I, I think UAB. Andy Chris. Kennedy feels like a chaos coach to me. What? It's, it's not Utah. It's UAB. Chris, you're not UAB. doing your chaos bracket. I'm sorry. No, this Utah. is, this well, is getting really out the of chaos if you if Utah won, I could have sworn I said UAB. I said Andy Kennedy. I know he's not coaching Utah. I know he's coaching UAB, and he's oh. going to win the game. Auburn and Yale. Of course, Auburn. Uh, BYU and Duquesne. BYU and Duquesne. I will take BYU. I will go Illinois, Drake. Okay. I'll be right back, Max. I got to charge. Hold on. One second. Okay. You control things here because Chris doesn't even know who's playing. <laughs> Okay, In the going. Sweet 16, we're going Connecticut, Auburn. Okay. We're going BYU. And we're going Drake to win the, the battle of the Iowa I teams. Think Drake. They were there last year. And then I feel like we need to have, um, yeah, I, th I think Bruce Pearl definitely needs to be playing BYU. That would, that would be very chaotic. Yes. Um, in the the Elite Eight, and I will take Auburn because Bruce Pearl is the king of chaos. Okay, okay. Right. We will go down to... Go down to the west? The south. South? I will take North Carolina, Michigan That's State. Nice. Hmm. Jeez. Bryce Drew's been in the news a lot. Let's give him a win. Okay. Grand Canyon. Um... Hmm. Pat Kelsey against Alabama. That's some chaos right we there. Gotta, we got we to pick up the pace on the chaos. All right. I'm going to give you Alabama. I'm going to give you Clemson Colgate for chaos. Oh. Matt Lingle can coach a little bit. Uh, okay. Now, Anthony Grant and Dayton will win. I'm going to take Long Beach State because the Dan Monson story needs to just continue. And Arizona would be like, that's a team that's lost some games as a two. Love that. So now, now I'm seeing the chaos play out here. I get, there's a plan. Yep. We're taking Alabama over Michigan State. Okay. At the top. So we got Alabama in the eight. And I feel like. Who do they play? Oh, there was a recipe for chaos here, and I've forgotten it already. Oh, I know what it is. I got Dayton coming out because what would be more chaos than Dayton playing? Okay, Anthony Alabama. Grant against his old team. Yep, we'll take Alabama because I feel like if we need chaos, we need Alabama and Auburn matching up in the in the final oh, four. That would be fantastic. So that's where we go on the chaos on the left side. Okay, um, Houston. AM. AM's got we gotta have some second round chaos between in-state teams. We've got James Madison feels like the chaos answer. Yep. yep. Duke getting beat feels like a chaos answer. Yep. 
uh, I, I feel like Texas Tech could ingest could inject some some chaos here. Okay. Okay. And because it's chaos, we got to have Kentucky losing because we know what chaos that is if Kentucky loses a game. Ooh. So now we got really crazy chaos. We've got at the top. I'm going to have a And M because we need some Buzz Williams chaos. Yep. Palpable buzz, palpable buzz. I will take Texas Tech, Grant McCasland. Oh, I forgot to pick the bottom. Okay, I'll take uh, Florida and Marquette. I'll take Texas Tech knocking off Marquette and meeting Texas A&M. Now, that, there's some chaos. Oh, okay. That's interesting. And Grant McCasland a Final Four. Okay. Yeah, Auburn, it, Alabama, and Texas Tech. Texas Tech. This is the chaos bracket for some of you guys just tuning in. All right, bottom, we really got some chaos here. It would be chaos for Purdue to lose to the 16 twice, but that's not going to happen. Okay. I feel like Jamie Dixon needs to make a run here for TCU. I like that. So let's have Jamie Dixon and TCU winning a game. Any chaos has to involve Will Wade. So McNeese wins a chaos game. And I feel like the most chaotic thing, you could make a case either way. McNeese and Sanford with Bucky McMillan could be serious chaos, but the bigger chaos would be the the FBI YTAP matchup in the second round where we got McNeese State and Will Wade in Kansas. So I'm going to go there. Okay, I like that. Uh, Any chaos needs to include Father Lamont Paris. I'll take South Carolina over Oregon. Yep. Uh. Akron just won a chaos game. They did. It's a good got, point. Got a mistake foul. I'm going to roll. We've already seen chaos with Akron once. We'll take chaos with Akron winning this one over Creighton. Um, Virginia could get the reverse chaos and lose a crazy game. We've seen that happen for. So I'm going to go Virginia in the second round against Texas. Okay. I'm going to go Virginia winning. Oh, okay. And I'm going to take Tennessee to beat St. Peter's because I'm I'm setting up some chaos here later. All right. We got McNeese and Purdue in a Sweet 16 chaos game. Are we just to the Sweet 16? No, he picked I'm, the other no, just I've, got, I've done oh, okay. the other regionals. I'm going to take Purdue in that one. I'm going to go full-on chaos. I'm taking South Carolina – and I'm taking Tennessee to the 16. Ooh. So that sets up, we've got Purdue and Tennessee. And Tennessee fans are dreading this whole thing, right? They're on a low because they came out of Nashville feeling awful about their team. And now they got an awful matchup with Purdue. So what's the chaos? We got Tennessee beating Purdue. I like it. So now I got a final four of Auburn and Alabama, Texas Tech, which is a bystander because of my twin nieces go there, and and Tennessee. Tennessee. The chaos rematch. Bruce Pearl and his old team. And Bruce Pearl cuts down the nets because that would be chaos. Ooh. All right. All right. So, man. He had, he had right. Long Beach State beat in Arizona. Oh, Dan yeah. Monson, the dream continues. Yeah, dream game there. Wow. I'm right. not, I'm not gonna and, and with that, I had fly. probably better sign off. <laughs> okay. See you, Chris. I'll just fly through a crazy final we four. Will, uh, we'll see. We'll talk to you later, Chris. All right. We'll see you in the morning. Max, I'll see you literally in five minutes. Get this thing back up there. Oh, I didn't know you were doing this. Yeah, I'm just doing a quick Final Four. Okay. Um, Out of the East, um, we're going to go with a team that should have beat a Final Four team in the first round last year. Coach's son, give me Drake out of the East. <laughs> Drake, if you go final. Drake versus Kentucky in the national championship, I will lose my mind because there Drake is the final four a fun yeah. connection there. Absolute chaos in the East. Down into the West, we're going Mississippi State, obviously. Um, then in the South, we're going to go. The 
the rally behind Micah, we're going Florida. And then Midwest. Midwest, Oregon stays on the run. And they make it. So we got Drake, Mississippi State, Florida, and Oregon, just like everybody predicted. Um, and then we're going Mississippi State against Oregon. Mississippi State wins the national championship by a record 77 points. Wow. Yep. All right. Well, I'm listen, Max, I have no idea. I'm just going to be honest with you. How we just went for three hours and 15 minutes and somehow the audience only grew and did not like go the opposite direction after we started giving our gut bracket picks our chaos picks if you want the good stuff i mean that happened probably in like the first hour and a half but the, since then it's been all downhill but max and i were doing a live stream at 8 a.m this morning we're doing a live stream after three hours now at 8 p.m at night we've been live for over four hours today we have spent four hours of our lives today talking to you guys <laughs> online, <laughs> just like we like it. And if you think this is bad, there's no telling how many hours we're going to spend throughout this NCAA tournament doing live streams with you guys. It's going to be incredible. So just so you know, a lot of stuff coming this week. Yeah. Like I said, we, we had our fun here on the live streams. That's what we do. The live streams are meant to be fun. We will have more serious discussion on these games in the individual videos we do for every game. If you enjoyed this live stream, hit the like button. My internet's about to go out. I can tell it right now. So it's a great time to stop this thing. Follow everywhere else. Find us on Instagram. Find us on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. Individual accounts. At 14 Southeastern is our channel account. All this stuff. We appreciate you guys. We will have a lot of fun this week. Unbelievable crowd. You heard it here first. An SEC champion is winning the national championship. Yeah, all right. Just all, all I'm going to say is is don't go anywhere this week. We'll probably have stuff up tomorrow. We're, we're, we're going to – it's – listen, guys. Listen. We've been waiting for this moment since last April. No messing around. There's no messing around. We're just as locked in as all you guys are. So are we. We'll be here and we'll have the content for you. That's definitely a great been worse question, for, Matt. That's a definitely been worse for you guys, Matt. No question about it. Um, <laughs> anyways, I think we got all the super chats. Just I think we may have missed this one earlier. Yeah, calls for Super Bowl LX. It, that would be nine super chat. That would be unreal. We'll see if it happens. All right, seriously, guys. Yeah, we cannot thank you enough. This has been ridiculous. How many people have watched this? Um, we appreciate your support. Reach out on Twitter, Instagram. YouTube, let us know. Do you enjoy our coverage? You want more of these? We're probably not going to give you many three-hour live streams the rest of the way, but we'll give you plenty of time heading into the start of the NCAA tournament on Thursday. Thank you again for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button on your way out. And, uh, yeah, we appreciate you guys watching, and we'll talk to you again here soon at Southeastern 14.